Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew. Welcome to Hello. Friday and welcome to a Valentine's Day Happy broadcast. Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. Yes, and I'm glad you're joining us mm -hmm. tonight um, because uh, you can make games your Valentine That's if right. you don't have any... <laughs> If you don't have someone you else don't have to any share plans, it with, share it with us, share it with and us. share it with our cats. We'll be your Valentine. Yeah, Atari, Atari will, will just be your Valentine. Is filled with love and has much to give. That's right. And Pixel is filled with hate and has much to destroy. <laughs> That's right. So you know, they're they're good companions on Valentine's Day, no matter what your mood. Yes. <laughs> so welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, uh, where we play classic games. New games on classic console. <laughs> Messed it up Ooh. at uh, 60 frames a second. So make sure you've set it to 60 frames a second yes. or you're missing half the show. That's right. And we've got a whole bunch of games tonight. Uh, we've got seven games we're going to go I through. I know, that's a lot of games. That's uh, awesome. A brand new one, uh, Missile Defender mm -hmm. by uh, Anthony Quinlan, a.k.a. 2600, um, who did games, the games Bass Fishing Tournament. Oh, cool, yeah. And uh, the newer mm. one, Street Rod 2600, we played mm. uh, two shows ago, Okay. I believe. And we've got a batch of games uh, from Dawnsoft Entertainment, uh, five games. And then the fifth one is a team effort with uh, Emmanuel, he's going to mess it up, Ferreira. Ferreira? Um, between Gilherm, Xavier, and Emmanuel Ferreira. Ferreira. And they're both in right. the chat with oh, us hi, uh, tonight, and they're from uh, Brazil. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Yes. Um, so they're staying up a little bit. It's not yeah. too late. I think it's 9 o'clock, they said there, 10 yeah. o'clock, something like that. Mm -hmm. I guess three hours. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to be playing Kite from 2009 uh, by uh, Simon Quern Quernhorst. Um, I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers uh, who support the show. Cafe Man 2D, actually off the top, thank you to Ice Bosta and Cafe Man 2D who just resubscribed Excellent. Thank just you. before the show started. <laughs> um, Cafe Man 2D, Captain Classic, Coconut 81, Dan ABC, MU Dan, Gretams, Ground Trooper, Ice Bosta, Johnny WC23, Carl G, Croco 2600, MK Smith, Mr. Fix, Muddy Funster, Nathan Strum, RC70, Repentless VG, Retro Salary Man, Sir Catleg, Spartan 581, S Ramirez 2008, The D Train, The Welshman 89, Tiki Dan K, and Tietfos. Thank you Very so nice. much. Mm -hmm. And you can support the show too, as well, for free if you have Amazon Prime, you know, the shipping company that sends goodies to your doorstep. <laughs> You link it to your uh, Twitch Prime, because they own Twitch, and you just click subscribe. And then you support the show for free. You don't have to pay a cent. Mm -hmm. um, and I want to say hi to everybody in the chat mm -hmm. as well, who have joined us live in Twitch. And thank you to everybody on YouTube as mm -hmm. well. Dan AVC, The D Train, Cafe Man 2D, I Bosta, Emano Ferreira, uh, Gwix1978, who is Guilherme Xavier. Mm -hmm. And everybody else who is just lurking, watching. Yeah, you know, waiting yeah. to see what we do. That's yeah. all cool. Maybe they'll make a comment later. <laughs> yeah. um, and you uh, don't have to. make sure you follow and subscribe on all the things. Mm -hmm. uh, click like on Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter um, mm -hmm. to keep up to date because uh, it will tell you about upcoming shows and things that are happening. Uh, not too much. No poll question. No big mail. Usually on Friday, there's not much because I get it on Wednesday. We're pretty Wednesday. easy going on Fridays, yeah. Um, but I did get this in the mail today. Oh, um, fancy. It is called Controller Adapter mm. by JYS for Switch, PS3, PC. Um, so what this does... Um, oh, I hope this works, actually. <laughs> Because it doesn't list. It's said on the listing. What this does is allow you to play um, with joysticks, uh, controllers, and mm. joysticks from other systems on other systems. Okay. Um, so you can plug in um, Switch controllers into your PC, PS3 controllers into your PC, Xbox into your PC, or any of those into your PS3 or Switch. Mm. Or It's just mix and match. Um, and I got this specifically for the PS3 mm. so I can play Bosconian yes. with the joysticks that we yes. normally play with on the show. Because the actual joysticks. you are quite obsessed with going back to the arcade and getting the high score. Try, going to try to, yeah. But really, to do it in the arcade, you need the proper joystick. So, yeah, so because it's... I haven't heard the PS2 playing it on the PS3. Yeah. And all I have is the 
the Game controller, pad. which is not quite the same. It's experience. it's terrible. Yeah, it's, it's terrible to play with. Yeah, and I I die a lot. Yeah. So I wanted to plug this in. Um, the back of the box doesn't give me confidence, but the, list, <laughs> the listing well, said Xbox 360 controllers yeah. will plug into this USB and then plug into the PS3, and mm -hmm. you can use them. Find out later tonight, I guess. That's Not the problem on the show, with those after the show. kind of rando manufacturers off yeah. Amazon. You you do take a bit of a a bit of a yeah. gamble with how well things will work and how yeah. accurate the descriptions are. But I'm sure I'm sure if it's set on the site, it'll probably yeah, work. Yeah, and it got decent reviews. And that's good. It did say you only are able to use official controllers those are not official controllers oh well but i mean they have the little red ring and it has an x on it so they're sanctioned by xbox at least they're probably okay we'll see yeah we'll see hopefully please we'll see it'll be fun yeah mm -hmm. i don't really want to buy another huge controller for one game one game yeah for the ps on on, on yeah. one system yeah fair enough um so the first game we're going to be playing is missile defender it's a brand new work in progress and he actually uh, Anthony Quinlan, AK2600, sent me a new build today of the game, um, and he's going to be releasing it after the show, so we get a sneak preview mm. of the new build of the game, which is very, very exciting. Um, so I'll hand you the controller, and I'll get that going. And it is Missile Defender, so shoot all the things. All right, defend I Defend your that. city, <laughs> defend the base. Uh, have we played this before? No, this is a brand new. Okay. We have not played it. I've played something similar. Um, it, it's... Oh, sorry. Yeah, wrecking it. Now where Just am I? Very lightly there tapping. There we go. Yeah. Clicking buttons. Um, there's, there's games like this. Similar, okay. And this is his... It's not a port of Missile Command. Okay. It's... It's like inspired by it's it's similar. It's similar, but, it's, but not not it's, exactly. It's changed same. enough that it's not really the same game okay. anymore because it has a lot of different uh, controls, different scoring. The way uh, you survive is different. But we will take a look at that. So this is a brand new build. Oh, enjoy the music while I switch over. There we go. Oh, why is that? Oh yeah, I changed it. So, Slightly off. It's just. Too big for the screen. There we go. That's bad. Wait. What? 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 The volumes aren't right. Well, let's do this again. Just like Erlen, you're like, press a button, run, do it immediately. And I'm like, wait a second. Not well, you set didn't. Up you yet. didn't say don't press a button. Oh, so I'm you have to be a little bit more specific, I think. This all. There we go. Now. Okay. Uh, so it's... What are you doing? I'm not doing just, anything. You just... What is going on? Sorry. What is happening? you probably oh, start I over see. again. Uh, gotcha. Oh, I'm just... I'm just off in my time. <laughs> one bullet at a time. Um, you don't have to worry about that one on the side. You have to defend oh. uh, the buildings. Oh, I see. And also defend your base over there. That is very important. Ah! We'll restart. <laughs> it's okay. I've never played this. Yep, yep. Uh, I have to. I have to get used to it, so don't worry about it. Yeah. So because that base got hit, now you're moving f half the speed that you are before. I feel That's like your I'm guidance going Double the speed, but whatever. <laughs> it feels faster than not slower. No, your movement of that thing is much slower. Oh. Right. Okay, so this was first posted on February 5th, 2020. This build is from today. And he said, I'm sending it from the future because he's from Australia. Ah, uh, nice. So it was actually labeled the 15th. And he's probably sleeping right now. Um, it's a 32K DPC Plus game as other games. Uh, like I said, Bass Fishing Tournament, Missile Defender, Street Rod 2600. Uh, you can download the version before this in the Atari Age forums. But you'll be able to download this version tomorrow late tonight after uh, i don't know when he's going to post it but very very soon mm. yes very much like missile command and that's where he took his um inspiration from because missile command originally had six cities mm -hmm. at the bottom and you have to defend those cities um but i believe <laughs> all the missiles in missile command like make a beeline for the cities like you can't there's no you can't not <laughs> defend them you have to and and you defend your base as well so he turned it into a, a landscape oh, so of slow. buildings. 
and also your shot. Now there's two ways you can die in this game. One way is to get your, your base hit, and that's instant death. Gotcha. So you always have to defend your base. Like the if one in the middle? One, yeah, the one in the middle that's shooting out the shots. So like this guy. Yeah, that's probably going to hit. Yeah. Uh, the other way you can die is from going to zero points. Yeah, fair enough. And which means that if you don't hit the first thing, <laughs> the first missile that comes down and hits your city, yeah. it's game over. So you have to start off pretty quick. But after a while, you build up enough points that you can get a little bit more comfortable. Um, so let me read out what he posted when he originally posted the game. Uh, basically, I'm going to call this Missile Defender for now, unless I think of the name should be changed. I'm fairly obvious it's my sort of take on the awesome game Missile Command. Thought it would work. I would work on another project on the side of Street Rod to break the monotony. Anyway, I think jumping between the two will give some fresh enthusiasm. Like, you're at a huge disadvantage because you... I'm slow? You're slow. Do you want to restart? No, no. Don't no. you play it through? Okay. Yeah, I don't mind it. So Missile Command ah, is a game ah. I've always wanted to remake, and not because it's bad. It's actually great the way it is, but rather create my own take on the game. I was going to try and make it a small 4K uh, Batari Basic game because, well, 4K. However, I decided to keep it 32K DPC Plus uh, for the simple fact of adding more features and the ability to have more depth than the original game. Why not? So I will leave this working uh, work in progress of what I have so far. Uh, the rest is like old information. You so got me. We'll restart it mm -hmm. for you so you can play a proper, proper game. <laughs> well, pr proper is a... Oh, you could just press a button to restart. Mm -hmm. So it'll be fast and you won't be like, oh, i got to make it over. So there's this... Actually, let's take a look at this, the uh, title screen for a second. Mm -hmm. So it's got a nice Very kind nice. of preview of what it actually is when it gets reduced. And um, so you can see the little buildings with the yeah. windows. He's got a moon and some stars there. Mm -hmm. And uh, very sp kind of uh, scrawly font to the top for Missile Defender. I like Defender. that. Yeah. yeah. Very, very stylized yeah. font. And what he sent me today, go for it. Uh, hey James, I've got a new build for you. Uh, change long. Random spawning locations of warheads. Not perfect, but better than I had. Oh, two at once. Very nice. Uh, time cycle. Each wave is a month. Three months to a season, 12 months to a year. Summer, fall, winter, spring. So right now you're in summer. Oh, Whoa, that was almost a quick game. Yeah. Um, so you got the green grass, and I believe it turns brown, and I I haven't played it through the new version enough. Yeah. I'm sure winter is white. And um, I don't know what spring would be. Green again? We'll have to see. Gotta get <laughs> Oh, Damn. no. It's, it's, it's slow it's, again. It is slow. Oh, There's that's There's three okay. we're heading for it at once. That yeah. would, would very. I just didn't time it well, and I kind of wish the explosion was a little bit bigger. It does stay on the screen for a little while. It does. You have to anticipate it. Yeah. I mean, in, missile, in missile Command, the explosions are quite big. Yeah, and that's the thing. I kind of wish they were a little bit bigger than what they are because, yeah, you think you're like, oh, that'll be okay, and then it's not. Or You have to time it to where it's going to be. Yes. A yeah. little bit. Yeah. Depending well, how far away it is. There's a delay to how, how fast it gets to the... Um, yeah. Um, uh, and he added the power station, which is the thing you're missing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you need to protect this building. If it takes a hit, your targeting system runs at only runs at 50% capacity. Know, it's sad. You can't get it back, either. No, and I was thinking of suggesting that to him yeah. after, like, either a turn or maybe even a season it gets rebuilt. See, I, that almost, yeah, it's too small. I find <laughs> too that small. way too small. Uh, it's challenging. That's part of it. Yeah. So you can see your points go down when it hits a uh, building. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Does it go down when it hits nothing? Uh, no, no, it doesn't. Okay. So you can ignore the ones that are going for things that are gone. And it was the same in Missile Command. Like, if, it, if something's going for a destroyed city, then it doesn't matter. When you're moving slow, you have to... Uh... You have to pick and choose. Mm-hmm. So you make sure you don't waste your time going way over on the other side of the screen when you're not well, going to make it anyway. Just concentrate on like the one that's coming for you. Oh, I just caught the edge of that one. Yeah. Um, and then he said probably some other stuff I can't think of at the moment. 
So I was doing a lot of... Um, there's something about his games that make me want to play it a lot. <laughs> like, before I even played on the show. Like, yeah. I did that with his bass fishing Well, the bass, fi the bass fishing has some really challenging parts to it. So. And it had a lot of math to it, too. Yeah. Like, oh, what's best to do? Do you mm. go for the small fish, the big fish? And this mm. one, I, I, as soon as he released it, I was playing it. And, mm. and I was playing it updates before the, between the last show and this show. And even before that, I believe, because other show, other games were scheduled. There's something about uh, his style of graphics, too. He has very intricate, small, detailed graphics. Um, he always makes, like, little small things. A little small fish and the uh, rowing boat and the bombs falling. Like, they're they're quite small, right? They um, usually uh, keep them very, very tiny, which makes uh makes it look like they have a lot more detailed graphics to them. it's such a delay to get to the edges it is you have it's to like, really uh, time ahead yeah it sucks <laughs> it sucks um oh, Jesus. Uh, see i i wish i do wish they were bigger well it's uh it makes it it, <laughs> it just makes it more challenging oh, this guy's gonna kill me there we go uh, he may not have. Because I think they just go straight up. Ooh, Made brown. it to fall. <laughs> fall, winter, summer. Um, and when it's a game over, you'll notice. And it's quite a kick in the teeth at the end of the game. Is that you lose 500 points for having your base destroyed. Oh. So it's like, yeah, I've got 2100 points. I'm going to... So your, big you, score. your score immediately just dies. Just die. You lose a quarter of your score if you died oh. right now. So I was doing pretty good on another game uh, that I was playing no, of, was of this. And then I, I was like, oh, I got a pretty good high score. And then at the end, I was like, oh my god, it takes 500 points off <laughs> for losing. So you always lose 500 points at the end, which is very unusual. I don't really, I can't think of any other games where it's like, you lose 500 points when you die. So the missiles start getting faster. Yeah, and I'm just as slow as I was before. So now my strategy changes when you when the, they get faster. Of course, you're you're half speed now. That I stick around the center. Oh yeah. Like you don't want to go off to the side. I don't care you're... about the the buildings off on the edges. No. I care about those buildings there, and this yes. is going to kill me. Oh, oh it does it spread out a little bit, doesn't it? What so... does? the bomb like when it hits it's not as wide it's a little bit wider than the actual bomb about twice the width mm. so if it falls right beside you and it doesn't hit you on the way down it will when it spreads out that was a risky move moving away from a bomb that was going to hit you well i hit i know because i i went to shoot it you could hit it you could shoot it again because it's right close to yeah. you Doing very well. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> you don't think so? I'm moving really slowly. That is a big detriment. But I, I right now all I care about are these buildings. So yes. And even then, I'm getting. I'm they getting don't more matter used that much. Well, you even just if don't all die. the buildings got hit, you yeah, lose, but you lose you lose score. You lose some score, but it's it's not that much. Yeah, I care. At this point, anyway. I need some buildings. <laughs> mm -hmm. Just, mm -hmm. I'm just gonna protect these guys here. Because I don't, I've all never... the people on the fringes out in the suburbs, you're dead. <laughs> yeah. That's just it. Like, so I've never played, well... a, I've never played a game all the way through where it destroys all the buildings. Yeah. I don't know if that's death or not. Oh, I assume. Do you want to? Do you want to see? <laughs> we can try that out. Oh, winter! Oh, winter! Nice. You're the first person to make it to winter. Am I? <laughs> Because nobody has this uh, build except for us. So it's... Uh... And, and the developer. Of course. Well. <laughs> they don't count. <laughs> so we're... we're at, it's Valentine's Day and Missile Defense Land. <laughs> That's right. So I guess technically it's still winter, isn't it? Yeah. Until um, March? The yeah, March 21st 20th, or 21st? whatever it is. Somewhere yeah. around there. So it's oh. still winter. 
Oh no! Oh. Didn't quite get it. See, three, I four, wish three, bigger, three. bigger. Anyway, yeah. not too bad. My turn. Your turn. See if we can make it to spring. I don't know <laughs> about that. It's hard. Like the level you're at, it just. Mm. But very good score. Defend that building. The problem is, as yeah. you get higher, you can't. You won't be able to make it out to that building. Well, that's that's exactly the thing. I think it becomes a lot more challenging. Oh, this is way better with a joystick. Is it? Yeah. yeah, I would say. See, it's not big enough. Oh my God. See, it's not big can enough. Can I restart? <laughs> yeah, you can. Oh. oh, you can't do that. There's no, no restart yet built in. Oh, yep, good game. Mm. It was a good game. And you do only get one bullet at a time and you can't pre-fire. You have to wait for it to kind of be done. Are they aiming for it? Yeah, you stay away from there. I got both of them. Really, the points are made in the first few levels, because after a while you can't, you just can't shoot fast enough mm. to get them all, and they're taking away your points from your cities. Oh my god, shooting too early. Yeah, it's easy. It, the timing, especially on the fringes, gets it gets harder. Really hard. Yeah. Oh. Yes, it takes so long to get there. It, it takes so long to get to, get to the edges. It's it's almost better to protect in the middle and maybe just run out if, oh, if yeah. your power station's uh, gonna, gonna go down. You have to protect that. Mm-hmm. I can see the strategy though. Mm -hmm. yeah, I still, I still wish the explosion was like just a, a tiny bit bigger, so that that you would catch your issues and you you would progress a little further maybe in the game. And I love games that that get frantic. Yeah, this gets frantic. It does get frantic, but I don't feel maybe because I'm not very good at it. <laughs> but it doesn't really get to the point that it feels frantic to me. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Like when when I was getting into the winter levels, it was starting to get fast. It's because it's because it's I was staying really... in the middle. I wasn't really running around. And they're not really aiming for the cities that are left. It's just still fairly random where yeah. it's shooting. And I suggested that to him. It's like maybe you should target this the leftover cities a bit if, more. If there's a way of doing that, yeah. Like just a little bit more, not not a ton, just a little bit, mm. because otherwise it's just gonna take you out in short order well why not i mean well you want it to be fun yeah but i mean then then the game becomes more frantic yeah. like True. it becomes harder so like i said i would prefer the bigger explosion but a faster gameplay mm. in a way i think the explosion shares the like is the same explosion when they hit the ground Does oh it... uh the little you mean the the the, b the bombs. The, the bomb. Um, no, but the the explosion. Yeah. Is yeah. it exactly yeah. the same? I yeah. think it. Uh, it's maybe a, it's little, pretty, a little different. It's it's uh, three quarters of it. It's not the full explosion. It, uh, it's not a full round explosion. Mm. But other than that, it looks pretty much the same. It it looks really good. Oh yeah. Really really great, good. Great animation. Yeah, I like it. Simple, nice. I just realized that's the moon up there. Yep, <laughs> it's the moon. The nice, beautiful six pixels. <laughs> or gigantic big, ones. Big chunky pixels Chunky up there. pixels. Uh, I think chunky that's made by uh, the play field. That's why it's... <gasps> Ooh, just... <gasps> oh, he got you. That was that was dirty. That was a there, dirty trick. There, yeah, was. that was a dirty trick. It was like both at the same time. Thanks for the... What is that thing? A seal? Oh, it's just a dove? the, the uh, emoji. <laughs> what emoji? Yeah. What kind of emoji is it? I don't know what you I don't know what you call those things. It's it's is a, it a, it's a is it a thing waving its arm? It's a sleeping uh, ghost. Oh, it's a sleeping ghost. Yeah. I'm gonna do it again. I don't know what score <laughs> no, I got. That's fine. That's fine. Drinking my wine. But that was a cheap death. A cheap death? <laughs> no, it was a perfectly fair death. It was. But I it was a bit of a cheap it. trick. 
Could have prevented it. Oh, no! Oh! Just in time. But it does make me want to reset the game if that t gets taken out, at least well, in the beginning. Well, it's actually not that bad. Because, mm, yeah. let's face it, the, the two games I played, I was pretty slow. Sure. <laughs> You were. And you just go, well, I'm just worrying about this this field. They can take out all my cities everywhere else. I'm That's just true. keeping it close to my, my main base. Having to deal with that thing on the corner actually makes it more compl more complicated because you have to go out to the fringes all the time. Yes, and when you're so slow, that When you get a, rid of the fringes, it's like, oh, well, who cares at that point? But uh... Oh, I got it. I didn't think I was going to get it. All I have to say is if you're out in the suburbs, too bad. Forget it. <laughs> Should have stuck yeah. closer to the defense. Yeah. Pay those pay those high housing costs ah. and, and, and stay as close to ah. the missile defense uh, <laughs> That's right. station as you possibly can. Almost as good. Uh, I did okay. Mm -hmm. I can't remember the score. Mm. How close the score was. Where's Arena Foot? He's usually the one who's That's uh, right. Where is that dude? Somebody want to keep scores? <laughs> it's okay. For us? We can always go back. Yeah. I don't remember. I did get to winter though. Ooh, you, I honestly, that was that was a pretty dirty trick hitting the the corner and then yeah, the missile defense. It's random. But, yeah. yeah it's, it's Randomly you can't bad. Control. Oh. So how was everyone's Valentine's Day going? Yeah, it's different time zones all over the place. I know. So maybe some people are done. Some people are just starting. Oh, God, there it goes. And there it goes. Yeah, stick to the middle. No, no, no. Don't waste your time. Just stick well, to the middle. Here. I'm over here anyway. Yeah. Stick to the middle. The Keep, pain. Playing. Keep playing. Keep uh, playing. <laughs> so slow. Uh, I can't even make it over. I really think that should come back. After like two rounds or something, maybe like it gets rebuilt. Yeah. Because being slow forever, especially in the high levels, is really detrimental. Like maybe you can earn it back somehow, either through levels or score or I can't even go down fast enough. <laughs> so slow. Stick close to the home base, man. Yeah. Yeah. So I had a wonderful experience today with my mobile phone. Oh, yes. uh, I ran out my data, which is a pretty cheap data plan, but I, I can't only make get... it. I can't make it. Oh no! No. Oh. One more. <laughs> so I ran out my five gigs in my data plan. Welcome, twenty six hundred. Hello, and um, it just cut off my mobile data. And unfortunately, my workplace has no free Wi Fi. So you're. Were you so I just what's going on, immediately it... got cut off. And I'm like, why am I not connecting? And then I realized I, I went too far yeah, and I still had seven you? days till the end of the month. Um, and so I just said, it screw it you? and or you up just upgraded my working? data plan. <laughs> uh, it messaged me a day or so ago that oh. I was at 95%. But oh. it's just one of these really cheap providers that uh, that you can, you can extend it and add more. But if you add more, it's like... Huh. What was it? Ten dollars for two hundred megs of data. <laughs> and so if I if I added ten dollars to my overall plan, I got an extra three and a half gigs of data. So I just said, you know what? I'm just going to upgrade the whole plan, and it restarted my month. Oh. So I think I kind of cheated it because I basically got another three three and a half gigs of data, which I would have had to wait. Yes. A week to get any mobile data. So if you're gonna upgrade your plan, do it at the end of the month. Yeah, and so I upgraded it, and now I have, I have eight and a half, but uh, anyway, I just, Still need it a was way to, not fun. Yeah. Still need a way to get your power station back at the moment. It's blown up and not coming back. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what would, would be, be nice. fair. What would you think? By score, like nope, you earn too late, too late. Oh! Oh, oh. oh no. Score or levels? I think Each score. Level? I I think you should get your power station back if you cycle through the seasons. All of them? Yeah. Oh, forget it. Well, I was in winter. You just have spring after that. No, that's way too punishing. No, but I mean, if you're a better player, then it's not going to go down like, like one during season. summer like it has for us. 
One season. One season, no. Every three no. levels. No, one season is too easy. That's making it too easy. Maybe by score then. Yeah. Maybe by score. If you get like your score you, up. You can spend spend your money on it to, yeah. to get it back. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I do like the power station. I don't think Missile Command had something like that, did it? That's a, uh, well, that's it's a kind of a more unique... Uh, it is, yeah, yeah. It didn't have anything like that. That affected the game. Mm -hmm. Like a city, you lose a city, it's just a city is gone. It didn't really affect how you played. Mm. Yeah, there's nothing like a game that pulls from an old game but adds some features that are oh. make it a little bit more interesting. That's right. Yeah. I mean, you might as well do that. The The version of Missile Command for 2600 is quite good, actually. Mm. That came out in the uh, in the eighties. Too slow. It's just too slow to go out there. I'm just gonna stick to the core city right here. See, I can't make it out there. You can go bomb the ground and take out that one little piece. Boop, four points. <laughs> oh, is that all of that comes off? Uh, depends how tall the building is. Oh, I think. really? Yeah. Mm. So the taller the building, the more points come off. So that was four points for one pixel. Nice. One row. One or two rows. Fall, fall. Hooray! I oh, I I have a suggestion. Shot. It's it's kind of a silly one. Yeah. Um, I think I think the moon should phase. <laughs> oh, that'd be amazing. That'd be <laughs> for amazing. For each season, you know, you have a new moon, you have a full moon, or you you, you have it wax and wane. Or you moves. Know. Just First moves. quarter, oh, second no, 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 quarter. No 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 no! <gasps> Boom! I had my one shot. Oh, had my one shot to get it, and I missed it. And I was trying to catch mm. up to. It. Okay, that's it for <laughs> Nestle Defender. James is angry now. You didn't even make it to winter. I know. I actually, it's actually Kicked a game I did. I did better on than you. Yeah. Or you're you're just uh, humoring me because it's Valentine's Day, right? Uh, no. <laughs> you're supposed to say yes. That's right. No, <laughs> that's that's insulting to you. That's, that means true. That means I was just playing bad, so you could uh, you could win. No, you actually, you beat me. Did very well. <laughs> we still didn't see spring, though. No, we didn't see spring. I uh, wonder if they're flowers. No. No? I don't think so. Maybe, maybe. I don't know how we <laughs> designate spring. Yeah. Um, so the next game we're going to be playing is by Dawn Soft Entertainment by Guillerme Xavier. Xavier? Guillerme? Guillerme? Guillerme. Uh, it's Z1B from 2018. Mm. cover because I spend time on doing those making them work there we go okay return Ooh, not silly at all I was running through my la mind last night the moon ah yes gix 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 is okay gix okay is gix okay. g-u-i-x the guy that made missile command cover art had some nightmares on nuclear war oh yeah oh. it's um the cover art is a guy at a gix. big panel uh, yeah. of buttons and everything it's very haunting and it, sorry say that again the guy who had missile command the guy who did the artwork for missile command. yeah the artwork is of a guy sitting at a terminal with terminal buttons. with buttons and i can't remember the rest of it but um, yeah playing missile command in the 80s was actually very frightening because well yeah because you had the cold war going <laughs> the on cold and, war. And, and all of that in the backdrop of the game oh it's terrible yeah it's terrible yeah. And it had really good sound in Missile Command, like awesome explosion yeah. sounds. Um, so this is um, a 4K game. Um, you can download it from Donsoft's website. Um, the uh, write-up for it, it says, Damn, somebody has made a mess in virology, and now the rotten bodies are walking and running around the base, mm. killing some fine people. They're, they are everywhere. Here, it's time to survive. Get yourself together and fight for your life using bullets and... Okay, just fire bullets. It's enough, <laughs> I guess. Yes, it is. Confirmed. 100%. True. Go on. <laughs> so. Nice. And I played this a little bit. Um, so so your one. bullets are the red. Ah! Ah! What am I doing? The bottom, I what believe. am I doing? Shooting the zombies. Ah! <laughs> Which way am I facing? You're facing left now. Ah! I didn't shoot him. Maybe you need to shoot it more than once. There you oh. go. There you go. Oh, some fast going ones. the wrong ways. 
And you need more bullets. They're definitely walking dead zombies. you have to go up to the top left to get more bullets. Where? Where Oh, okay. There you go. Am I I just... Ah! (laughs) And, uh... I have to say this Your lives are at the bottom. Okay. So you have six, or hits, hit points, I guess, and now you're down to three. Whoa, fast ones. <laughs> really fast. Oh. Do, do they get you if, if, if you get hit? Um, it, That one didn't affect you, so maybe it's not a one-for-one one kind of thing. Mm. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty fun. Zombies, <laughs> Emmanuel Fiera says. Um, almost out of bullets. You're out of bullets. <laughs> So a little write-up about uh, Dawnsoft is from the website, uh, translated from Portuguese, so it uh, may be a little bit off. Uh, DMGD, Dawnsoft Mini Game Division, is a space for free rehearsals of small games, nice. usually designed to illustrate concepts and propose extraordinary integration between the different actors in the areas of production and administration, arts and design, and the technology and development. The games created and developed can be downloaded and distributed freely by collectors, suggesting shipping as a treat for any short game enthusiast. Um, The samples available here are excellent for those minutes between boiling noodles and passing coffee. (laughs) Passing coffee. (laughs) Brewing. Brewing coffee. Brewing. Yeah. I'm going to guess. Oh, yeah, probably. (laughs) Making making coffee. Yeah, probably brewing. Or passing. I mean, if if you're... You're, you know, you have a lot of coffee. You do have to you pass, do pass it at the some coffee. point. <laughs> oh, you're down to two now. No. So it's this all about. Is so cute. From what I, I gather, it. it's all about small games, simple concepts, but taking a concept and and making it come to life. Nice. I do like the. I do like the zombies. Zombies like are good. Good walking animation. And the green, the green, you know. <laughs> kind of rotting yeah. look to them. You know they're zombies. Yep. And it's it's very hard to pixelate a zombie, but I think that's pretty awesome. Yeah, he's got the arms uh, It's like, like that. you know exactly what's happening. That's definitely a zombie. And they're definitely walking dead zombies because <laughs> they're like super fast or, or what yep, was what was are. that uh, movie? Um, um, oh. 28 Days Later? Yes, yes. Yeah, that was the, sort of the first con- well, the first, first concept I remember of the fast zombie. Yep. Here in Brazil, we pass water through the coffee. Oh. Oh, gotcha. Gotcha. So that's the same. It's brewing. It's brewing. Then. Brewing. Yeah, yeah. Would be a pass water. Yeah. <laughs> Dripping coffee? No, no, brewing. Brewing. I know brewing, but uh, more direct. No, I, I would say it's brewing, brewing. coffee. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's just so a, I did a little a interview nice. um, with um, y- Gix. Gix, yeah. Before oh. it. Nathan Strum might not be a zombie. Could be a sleepwalker with jaundice. <laughs> That's true. And they do hurt you, so either way, they need to be taken care of. Yeah. <laughs> if it's a sleepwalker, because they're out to get you. Yeah. And there's a lot of the sleepwalkers, too. Yeah. So this town has um, some very bad insomniacs. <laughs> um, so uh, he says, as a poor boy growing up in Brazil in the 80s, My family did not have much money to afford anything beyond sparse weekend arcade coins. Mm -hmm. In 1989, luckily, a dear aunt gave us, um, to my elder brother and I, a Polyvox Atari 2600 Junior as a Christmas gift. Our Junior was not like your Junior. Consider it a a Vader case with controls glued behind and push buttons in place of the silvery switches. Yeah, Brazil had a bunch of weird looking Ataris. Were they sort of like off off brand Ataris? Like yeah, someone were, had the, made them? Yeah. Yeah, there were some off brand ones as well. Mm. I'm not sure if this one that they had was off brand or or relicensed from them possibly. I don't I'm not familiar with the Polyvox. Oh. Um here in Brazil, Atari, we still call the VCS nowadays, was launched officially in late eighty three. So that was quite a bit later. Cloning and piracy going rampage after that. Before this year, vi- video games were a luxury smuggled from Miami because the military government here applied uh, this market reserve things to tech imports, making computers and video games very hard to know and buy. So when business spun out of control there in North America in the Great Crash, we simply didn't mind about it because it's when we started to play for real, and newer video games like Master System, Phantom System, our local NES, and Mega Drive, Genesis name here, mm. Genesis called here as well, 
um, were too expensive for kids like us to um, oh. afford. And I did read that when the crash happened, mm. they shipped off a ton of Atari games oh, to South course. America. They're probably trying to sell it in whatever markets they could, right? Yeah, because yeah. it was doing well there, but crashing here and nobody wanted to buy it here. Yeah. So there was, uh, for a time, um, it, it's still happening now that you can buy a lot of sealed Atari games from like Venezuela and Brazil and a lot of other South American countries. Mm. And I did that once. I bought a, a whole box of Atari games. Um, unfortunately, at uh, Venezuelan customs or Brazilian customs, they ripped them all open. Really? About half of them. Aww. But the other half were fine. And, you know, they, they were fairly inexpensive mm. because there's a ton of them there. Their customs or our customs? Their yes. customs. Oh, really? Yeah. Because they... And they don't care about the games. They just think, oh, it's old, old junky stuff. Yeah. They rip it open. They want to make sure yeah. what's inside of it. Oh, he says, uh, Gwick Gix what, says this was licensed. So oh. the Polybox is an official. Atari. Is an official version, yeah. Um, I guess the Brazilian Atari fan ba fandom is based mainly on the early lack of opportunity to buy new console, newer consoles. As we stick to the good old games of the 90s, we learn to value them more and more, even today, so many years later. Short story, our console was destroyed. Possibly. I do not have proof of that. By my little brother. <laughs> uh, by our little brother. I started to get to work with microcomputers, and last year, my nine-year-old daughter and La Cabrita cover artist, which we'll be playing later, nice. was watching Stranger Things and asked me, what is an Atari? Oh! Right. Uh, as struck by lightning, I went to the internet to find her some Im images. Aww. The images became s some pros prospecting on sale offers, and now we have an official Polybox Atari VCX Vader 1983 under the main TV. So he rebought his uh, childhood branded Atari Aww, system. That's sweet. Yeah. Yeah. It's no there's nothing nicer than when uh, little kids. Uh, <laughs> discover sort of older systems and, and I know and my nephew yeah my nephew we had uh, made a little um, raspberry pi system for him yep friggin loved castlevania what was it yeah. castlevania three two or three two or three just played it ad nauseum <laughs> and got pretty good at it he got good i mean he for died a lot but the thing is even though it's an extremely hard game, you respawn right where you die. So he just kept playing and playing and playing, <laughs> yeah. and he just died and died. Oh, it finally got 25 20. Me. Not bad, not bad. But there's something about a little kid, because he would have been like five or six oh, yeah. at the time. He was quite good for his he age. He loved it. Absolutely loved it. Loved the floating eyeballs and the. Just loved it. So Ooh, I, I love it when ones. they discover, oh. discover older games. Ow! Especially when they're young and they don't have the kind of judgment that older kids have. <laughs> right. It's just, oh, is this fun? You know, do I like it? And it doesn't matter it. what it looks like. It doesn't matter what it looks like, and it doesn't matter if their friends are playing it. They just, they just, oh yeah, this is this is cool. Let's play it kind of thing. So. Oh, yeah. out of bullets. Yeah, that Ow. was really fun. Thanks, Gix. <laughs> I really like the zombies. <laughs> They're great. Yeah. Ah! Especially I'm, the fast I'm moving mentally ones. making note of all these little these little um, pixelated characters that I think would make fa fabulous tattoos. Um, <laughs> oh, what was the game with all the rooms that we were playing last time? Uh, uh, I'm really bad with names. The adventure so one with the wizards? No, you're jumping over things and you're jumping across rooms and... Not oh, uh, Ninja Sky? Yes, Ninja Sky, Ninja Sky and Low Res World. What? I went right through them. Um, I love the, like, almost fluorescent red oh, fireballs yeah. in that game. And and these little these little zombies are also really awesome. <laughs> I really like them. Oh, yeah. I like their little walking gait, too. Yeah, they're slow. Like the they're legs slow, are much slower than and I more love than... I love the animation of the legs for some reason. Oh, they're great! It make it. Oh. I don't know what it is, but the slightly shorter leg in the back just makes <laughs> it look like it's it's limping fast. It's really beautiful. Maybe. It may be limping fast. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're very cute. 
So they go slow, 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 and then all of a sudden there's a really fast one. They that freaks really, the hell yes, out of you. yeah. You're like ah, run away. Actually, that's great because there's like there's like a surprise element to it. So. <laughs> oh, that went right through them. Apparently, not all your bullets are effective. <laughs> Nathan Strum, shooting zombies in the back, not very sporting, James. Well, you know what? They're true. zombies, so they can be shot in the back, back oh. of the head. Ow! Yep, I know. It's easier <laughs> when they're running away. <laughs> it is definitely easier to shoot them in the back, though. <laughs> you just go away. Yep. I don't know if they come up this hard. high. No, they don't. You're protected there, so... If... So you can kind of cheat? Well, not really, down, because you don't get any... Them. Yeah, you don't get any points. You kind of want to stay in the middle, so you get as many as you want, so you can go up no, and down. I'm going to cheat. Oh, you're so, such a cheater. Shooting all the zombies in the back. That's how you... Oh, that's how you do... Uh... Oh, you can shoot up here. You just can't see it. It's the yeah. same color. Because he uses the ball for how, the... That's how you do what? What were you going to say? Um, that's how you do testing for games. You find you find ways to uh, cheat the system. And so they have to fix it. So nobody mm. can do that. <laughs> I don't think you're cheating the system. By being I think... utterly protected no, and but... shooting them in the back? Yeah, but it's still a points game. You still have to... Get down to, you're not getting down to the lower ones to shoot them. They're so not really anything, though. Yeah, but you're not getting any points, so I'm just saying. I mean given a it, long it, enough time for the long haul, yes, you can just keep doing that, but that that's not nearly as fun as trying to dodge the fast ones in the middle. Yeah. I think Darcy and I have had many discussions about what is cheating. Oh, you know what? I'm. Like, is this cheating? Like, so I can't be hurt. I watched a little bit of your show with with Erlen on Wednesday, and he right. was talking about with penalt. Yeah. With penalt, and he yeah. was talking about playing RPGs and then going online and looking at tactics. Right. For me personally, and I don't know if this is a generational thing. I Ow. play I play modern games now. Ow. Ah. And I try to do as much as I can without looking at cheats or looking at yes. how to do things. Yes. And, I, and, and, and also looking for tactics. And I, I had Nintendo games when I was young. I never had Nintendo age. I never had cheat codes. Also being, oh, probably drunk. being a girl, I didn't have guy friends that I was talking to games about. Right, to trade information. So when people told me that they looked up a cheat code or looked up how to do something, yeah. I completely lost respect for them. <laughs> because all the games I ever played, I played trying to figure them out myself. Yeah. And and I will admit that I play modern RPGs and games now, and when I get really stuck, and by really stuck, I mean I've tried something for several hours, I will look up how the solution because I'm not moving forward. Yeah. But at the time, when I was in my teens, I tried to do it without any help. Yeah. And and I feel like modern games now, people don't do that as much. There's cheats everywhere. There's wikis. There's, like, you want to figure something out. You want to figure oh. out, okay, well, how many points do I need or, or what this sword is and, you know, all those kinds of things. Mm. So, yeah, he got me thinking about that. I play Battletoads on... The, on um, Which is brutal. Is a brutal game. Yeah, yeah. Someone at a local video game rental store, I a we were asking them, what are good games to play? So they would suggest us games, we would rent them, and sometimes we'd buy them used. Yeah. And I that's how I got Battletoads. I got it as a used game. And like I got pr reasonably far. I never finished it, but Battletoads is brutal. But again, I never looked up cheats. It, I mean, that game is just brutal. It's just memorization. Yeah. But um, I I don't know. I don't know. Well, I lose a little respect. I lose a little respect for people who, after <laughs> results, have to look up now. cheats. Yeah, but only at the at the extreme. Like, when you're like, I will either give up. Playing, I will completely give up playing this game. Or I cheat. Or I cheat. And, and and to be honest, I can mentally think of how many times I've cheated on on games. Like yeah. I was playing. Um, uh, I was playing. The Witness, which was off of PS4, which was one of the free downloads. Oh, okay. And it's all puzzles. I don't remember you playing that. Oh, was that? It's like all boards and... with puzzles. You solve the puzzles, and there it's it's all oh, like. Oh yeah, I remember that. Yeah, um, which wasn't. I found it for the most part not particularly hard, but there were certain points where I just couldn't get past. 
So I cheated three times in that game. Yeah. <laughs> but I can count the times I've cheated because I feel very shameful that I had to cheat in order to get past some things. So. Well, and, anyway, I and digress. The ones I the digress. Part you cheated on, do you look back on it and go, I would never have figured that out? Yeah. Like, it's just not obvious whatsoever. I find when I do cheat, I knew the solution, but I was just doing something subtly wrong, or I wasn't turning something enough, or I wasn't quite yeah. doing it exactly right. And when I, when I see the solution, I'm like, oh, I basically had the answer, but I was just doing something subtly wrong, and it was never gonna, I was never going to figure that out. So. That's usually what I find when I have to cheat. It's yeah. like, I did that. Yeah. <laughs> I was there. I, I tried saw that. doing that, and it didn't work when I did it because I did something ever so subtle. So I gave up wrong. completely on that because yeah. I thought, well, that's obviously not it because yeah. I tried that. Exactly. But anyway. you just didn't turn it like one tick more, yeah. something like that. Yeah, exactly. Okay, I beat your score. Oh, is that what you were? <laughs> <laughs> no, because I can, like, I I nice. lost a lot of life in the beginning. But, uh, but you gain life but now, back. Yeah, you do. You do. No, I went down and I swear really? I got I got lives back. Oh, maybe. Yeah. But yeah, it's a very uh, like uh, Nathan Strum said. It's a very good uh, use of the two line kernel. Um, mm. Like the characters are very well drawn. Yes, they are. They uh, are very the right, well drawn. really good colors. Especially for the the head of the zombie. I'm gonna turn off the phosphor. Oh, it's because it's trailing. It looks like there's two colors on the headpiece, um, but it's just one. Because it looks like it has um, a light green, then a darker green trailing it. Anyway, good stuff. That's a fun game. And then the next one. Here you go. Mm -hmm. Starts with a C. Can't remember it. Most of these kind of names are very foreign to me. I'm sure they mean something. Maybe we can get some translations in the <laughs> in the chat of what these are. It is uh, Cisney, C-I-S-N-E-Y. I'll do it. Oh. Be faster for me. I agree, Cafe Man. Very cool game. Mm -hmm. Again, really like the sprites, really like the zombies. They're, pr they're pretty awesome. Anyway, I've got off on my diatribe about cheating in games. <laughs> but, um, Looks like Disney, but it's Cisney. Cisney! Um, so this one is also from 2018, as far as I can tell. It's mm -hmm. another 4K game. All of them are 4K. Um, I think they're self-limiting to that size to mm. see what they can do with a concept and a, and a, a limitation. Um, this is also downloadable. It says, Holy Skies. Probably Holy Skies. Uh, a delivery must be made, but in the enemy territory, crowded with suicidal pilots and their black crow flying machines. The year is 1940. There's a world war going on. Did you know? Get behind the manch. M-A-N-C-H-E. Get out your limited ammo and try not to crash midair or below the sea line. It's an airplane, not a goddamn submarine. Pull up, hurry up. There's something in those packs that must get past the dangerous waves ahead and below. So you're dropping packs on ships, uh, was it? Sisney is Portuguese for, for swam. 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 Okay. Mm. Thank you for gaming. You're very welcome. Love mm -hmm. playing uh, games I haven't played before. Oh, okay. You're the Ow! plane? Uh, I'm not moving. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay. Try now. Press button. Okay. Restart. There we go. Still not moving. Oh, sort of. Oh, okay. It's just... Why? What, what is going on here? <laughs> no, it's... it's. Um, I think I played this briefly and you have to press the button to move. No. No. I'm not moving. Oh, barely moving. Try left and right. Oh, oh, that's it. Up and down. Oh, okay. Oh, geez, this is going to kill me. <laughs> this is gonna do, my brain needs to adjust to this. It's, it's, oh my goodness. Uh, why is the catch? You are, you're in the plane view. Uh, oh, so it's kind of a, a tilted left, right, where they're coming at you from the left or right, rather than up and down. Oh. That makes more sense. Okay. Oh, I ran out of... Different uh... kind of perspective. Oh, you ran out of bullets? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, you only have a certain number of bullets. You've got the yellows. So How do I get don't more? Don't be wasting them. That's a good question. There is no instructions. Maybe there are instructions that I didn't see. 
Let me just look for instructions <laughs> just to make sure. What did the it other say? one is a lot more. Something about packages? Do I have to pick up bullets from the ground? Uh, oh. There yeah. is no more. Oh, so that's it. Okay. <laughs> There's no more. <laughs> uh, All right. Do what you can. Just get get the highest score you can in the, oh, I in guess the so. bullets you have. 634. My right. turn. <laughs> I think I did better the first time. I'm going to top up my wine. Excuse me. Use the ammo wisely. Yes, I agree. I agree. Ow. <laughs> oh, 12, 24. Oh. Oh, the points are going up regardless. What? As long as you're alive? Oh, when you get hit, does it go down? Oh, you have to pass through, not necessarily kill the enemy. Oh. Ah. So you, you just want to not die is basically the end. Mm. If you can kill it, do you get... I'm gonna, yeah, it's it's your points go up based on time. So you just want to so stay alive. Shooting it doesn't do anything. Nope. No points for shooting. No, it. so you're just trying to avoid. Fair enough. Kamikaze pilots trying to. Oh, and they start over where they started. Uh, they like where they, they, they ended up. They they direct themselves towards you. Yeah. But also, see, he's at the middle. He's still at the middle when he comes loops around again. Mm. So that's actually helpful. Oh, it's like one guy. Oh, oh changed. color change. Very nice. Over Horizon looks really nice. Yeah. I nice like that blues. a lot. I like that a lot. Yeah. A little bit of waves, mm -hmm. some little, little bumps in the, in in the, the water. water. Nice. Okay, this makes a lot more sense. <laughs> oh, now we're over sand. Ooh, I couldn't avoid Ooh. that one. Oh, Ooh, my God. now it gets fast. Well, some of it. Oh. Oh, he gotcha. Clipped my wing. Ow. Mm. Ow, purple. 4,049. Right. Now okay. that I know what we're doing. Like a version of combat and target target fun. Uh -huh. So Sisney means swan in English, Cafe Man says. No, he said uh, swim. Oh. What? And you died. No, but I went back and forth and I did nothing. Do it again. Okay. What? Oh, there. There's a limit to the top. You can yeah. only go so high. No, the ticket prices went up to L.A. What? <laughs> that quickly? Yeah, not much. Were you talking about the uh, sh the? No. No. It's just I have a tracking. Oh. Um. What were? What did I tell you? One sixty something. Yeah. Return. That's one seventy three. Not much. Oh, that's not much at all. You said two fifty with taxes, probably. Did I? Yeah. Two fifty return. Oh, yeah. Well, then it's really good price then. Oh, that's U.S. Never mind. Never mind. Never yeah. Us Canadians, we have to deal with this all the time. When we look at prices online for something... You always have to do that don't... mental math of like, is if this it... American? Well, not only the mental math, we have to guess Ugh. whether... Like, if it says doesn't say US or CAD and, and, it's, and it's like a price, we have to go, is this an American site? Is this a Canadian site? Does it sense that I'm Canadian and translates it? We have to be... Oh, oh. Ooh, we almost... Ooh. Almost beat you? I got to the, the I got same. to the snow level, so there you go. <laughs> very nice. Yeah. So that's once that's we figured fun. it out, that's that's very fun, and it's kind of interesting that you have to avoid them because a lot of games is not avoiding; it's shooting. Yeah, you're Rather, you, you're just trying to. So, yeah, it's. So you can uh, do a peaceful mission if you want, and not shoot one thing and still get points. Yeah. Yeah. But it's it, it's a game of avoidance. Violence yeah. is not the answer. No, exactly. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> Very fair. Because if you miss with your bullet, it's probably going to get you because you're lining up. Mm. Uh, actually, it's C I S N E in Portuguese. Cisne is is a is kind kind of joke, kind of a joke. Okay, <laughs> so let's go on to the next one, uh, which is very close to this one. 
Cory Rama. Probably Cor probably some Cor rolling Rama. R's. Cory Rama. Uh, I don't know. Cory Rama. <laughs> Portuguese does does Portuguese have rolling R's? I don't know. Does Spanish? Yes, and it's usually I mean, desi Italian does. designated by two R's. Two R's. Yeah. Mm. Uh, if I am correct, which I'm probably not. <laughs> Just because. Okay. Uh, Cory Rama uh, by uh, Gix. Dawnsoft Entertainment, uh, also from 2018, a 4K game again. Oh. Like a Cory Rama. Yeah. Wow. Cory <laughs> Rama means nothing in Portuguese. <laughs> it just sounds good in Portuguese. Mm. Um, feel the thrill. Streamlined and nervous race machines are mm. ready to be tamed driving game the heat the smell of gas and burned rubber and rivalry ah just another day for brave pilots like you to prove themselves behind the wheat no wells wheel. it's pro probably wheels wheels yeah, yeah. uh fasten your seatbelt, adjust mirrors and hit the roads of Koryama race grand yeah oh, race grand and and slot race nice ah, okay ah, okay uh vroom engage the gears <laughs> and overtake other racers running tarmac stone streets mud forests deserts and the bright illuminated tracks that will extend your perceptions beyond the human limits mm -hmm. uh vroom nice but be advised always check the fuel consumption and watch out for hothead disloyal opponents i love, <laughs> love translations <laughs> because you know what they're getting at yeah and sometimes it's deeper than what the English hothead, translation. Hothead disloyal. It's basically another word for asshole. Yeah. <laughs> Aiming at your car. <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, this epic race will end nice. for good and the final prize will drift from your hands. Oh, uh, I love that. Drifting. From yeah, your hands. that's nice. Okay. So let's uh, get to the race and I will go to the next um, question that I asked him in the interview. Ooh, very nice colors. So we've got four points, 14. There you go. So the button is accelerate and steering is steering. Ah. And your car turns ghost white when you get hit. Um, two years before buying our new Atari, I was studying oh. game prototyping <laughs> engines to use with my game design class students. <laughs> game Maker Studio. Thank you. Um, <laughs> Wow. That was fast. Instant death. Yeah, instant death. Uh, was moving to a newer versions that I was looking to construct in Godot as interesting tools to pixel art approach. One night I was browsing and found it Player, Player Pal 2.1 by Kirkjur. How funny. I tried to... They are disloyal. <laughs> Dis what did he say? Disloyal. disloyal. Hothead disloyal. Hothead disloyal uh, opponents. opponents. Oh, jeez. That's a little too easy. <laughs> Hothead disloyal opponent. How funny. I tried to make a 2600 compliant character and the character <laughs> went okay. <laughs> running, uh. Running cycled. Looking at into the code provided below, I was amazed to know I could use this Batari basic thing to test it in real time. So when the character was moving on my screen <sighs> under Syzygy USB Atari controller, loaded it as a bin file in Stella, the 10 year Xavier inside reminded me why I became a game designer. And the ludologist in the first place. Ludologist. Mm. <gasps> this is pretty fun. <laughs> you die a little too fast as far as I'm concerned, but it's really fun. Tanya, stick to missile games. Just kidding. Oh! Cafe Man 2D says. That's pretty fun. Well, yeah. this, oh, look, they're all over the place. This they really reminds, go for you. <laughs> This reminds me of Spy Hunter, which is a game that I'm terrible at because oh. it's just like this. Yeah. And it's moving so fast and the cars go after you and just ram into you. Oh, oh ramming cars. Yeah. Keep it's your just distance. So... Keep your distance. Yeah. Just... I would like... Oh. Yeah, just... I don't know how many times you can get hit. I don't know. Is there a, a gauge? Because there's like fuel there on oh. the yellow is fuel? Or is that is your it? damage? Maybe it's damage. That would make sense. Yeah. Mm. Oh, um, oh, what is it. this? Am I towards the end? Oh, changed. Very nice. Okay. Oh, even the game. Oh, I got the different. red and white though. Nice. It is fuel. Fuel. Okay. Uh, Use the gears to avoid. Oh, are you using gears? gears? I don't know. Up what down. Gears. Try gears. Like up and down. Yeah. 
so that's the accelerator. Oh, you bastard. Um, look at this guy. <laughs> Jackass. What happens when you go in the yellow gold car? Down. I don't know. Nothing? Oh, I see low, high. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, so there's that makes two. sense. Okay. Depends on the hits. It does, because if you if you hit someone with the rear of your car, yeah. you're usually okay. But if you if someone hits oh. the front of your car, you, uh, like that. Uh, front is much more damage. Huh? Yeah, or, or multiple times in the rear. Eh. Side is not as much. I kind of like, though, the fact that they just kind of go for you. Like, all of a car. sudden, they're on one side, and they're like, I'm going to hit you with my car. Car designs are really good. Are all the enemies I the like same? I like them. Yeah. No, well, different colors. Different colors, but oh. the same. Same design. Yeah, yeah, they are. And you're a little bit different design. Very nice. So that's it. Remember Christmas night? Let's try to make a 2600 game from scratch and see what happens. <gasps> you you want to try? No, you're not dead yet. Uh, the next few days and following weeks, I spent unrusting my basic <sighs> knowledge and uh, reading the whole random terrain site, which is very good for learning. Once, if, if he if he corners you, you're kind of screwed. Like tinkering, if he gets in front of you. Tinkering with a broad smile on my face, I made Z1B as my first Atari VCS 2600 game. With art on silver cover, my favorite, and manual. In Z1B, a pun with the name z one by Zombie? I was figuring out how to make a Batari basic, a basic, a Batari basic shooting game with animated player and slower fast enemies. Sound, ammo scarcity, score, and all the voodoo around registers, limited variables, and draw screen, bizarre failures, and satisfaction. Mission succeeded. I reactivated Dawnsoft's minigame division, an experimental spin-off of my game design company, to cradle Z1B and further 8-bit experiments. Zigzag, he says. Fun. Yeah, the zigzagging does help. <laughs> Is it are you, me zigzag or them zigzag? Because they, <laughs> they go right across the screen. Pretty cool. I really like the cars, I have to say. Yeah, really nice colors. Really nice colors, yeah. So there's no damage, um, like on the screen. You can't mm. tell how much damage you've mm. taken. That would be nice. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and the fuel hasn't run down, but I assume you just get as many points as you can in the fuel you have? Does that sound right? Uh, oh, uh, so Cappy Man Two D Two D asks: Does your car move up the screen screen as you accelerate, or are you moving up and down manually? So you push the oh. button to accelerate, but you have a low and a high oh, gear. Jesus. So if you're pushing forward, you're moving faster, and if you if you pull back, you you actually have a low gear, so you slow down. But that's pretty much it. I don't think there's no control over how far up the screen you are. No, even, it's even just fast, fast and slow, and accelerate or completely stop. If you take your finger off the button, you completely stop. Your car does go up the screen though, like randomly. What do you mean? Start. Like. If your you go height. forward, if you go back, if you push back, you slow down, right? But, but my car is going up the screen. Yeah, you never stop. But if you take your finger off the button, you completely stop. I'm not talking about moving okay i'm talking about the absolute position of your red car in relation to the whole screen how far down the screen or how up the screen is like see i'm quite far back yeah and it's kind of moving back and forth and i'm moving up a little bit and yeah, down but, it's yeah. random you have no control over that oh so that's just kind of it's just, uh, I see. It's just to simulate the mo like the movement. Movement, yeah. It's, yeah. It's quite nice because yeah. it's, it feels a little bit it feels more feels realistic. Yeah. I wonder though if the gear you're in moves you forward slightly. I haven't found any correlation. No. Between it, no. Nope. Even but you pull back, you seem to move down. Like I'm pulling back the whole time. That's now. true. That's true. A little bit. Oh, interesting. <laughs> Gix says, uh, it's a punitive game like in real transit. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> so I'm in low gear now. Yeah. But I'm still making points. Mm. Still accelerating. Mm -hmm. I'm staying out of the way of the cars, though. You go in high gear. Does my score go faster? I think it does. Um, not much faster. Not it is going. It is going faster. Not appreciably. Uh, it is. It is. It's definitely based on your distance traveled. Oh, you got more uh, gas. 
Oh. Your gas cycled over. I guess there's a checkpoint. Must be. When you hit the red point, maybe? Uh, I'm just going to stay back. Up is second gear. Yeah. Oh, you're in green. Look at this. See, I'm just taking it slow. Still moving, still making points. Mm. Completely avoiding the cars, though. As long as he stays up there and doesn't dive bomb you, you're good. Yeah. Yeah, he... They always seem to keep... Um, they're, but they're you in only low pass gear as well. in high gear. You yeah. only pass in high gear. So the other cars are always in low gear. <laughs> oh, see? He went after you. There you go. But you you went pretty far. Yeah. Let me do good. one more. Yeah, yeah. To try and f see if I can just stay in low gear the whole time and make it to the checkpoint. <laughs> Oh, uh, Gix says the fuel will empty. Oh, if you don't... Get to the checkpoint in time. Okay. Ah, see, that's how they get you. So you do have to accelerate. You can't stay in low gear the whole right. time. I feel like these guys are all uh, convert convertibles. Ow! I know, they're mean. They just look mean. They look like they, Ow! Have, they, look like they have sad faces. <laughs> on the bottom, yeah. Yeah, like they're, uh, they're angry. You're like happy. Or, or more shocked than happy. <laughs> These guys have like... <sighs> oh, with the two eyes in the top? Yeah. yeah. They're like angry. They're like really mean oh. convertibles. Oh my god. Sometimes it's really hard to pass them. <laughs> like they just keep pace with you. Mm. The first bunch of cars don't... Um, don't chase after you. Maybe it's just right. No, because no. I've died in the first two seconds of starting. They just go right into you, so... I think you just have to stay away from their their line. Because mm -hmm. if they're ahead or they're behind, they don't go after you. But if they're they kind of in line with you, then they'll go right for you. They're like, ooh. Oh. It's always the orange ones. They do um, give up trying to smash you after a couple <laughs> seconds, which yeah. is good. So here's what I like. Ah, no, 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 no. no. <laughs> um, that... You need that little dot on the left-hand side because that's how you right. figure you out your speed. Um, because the sides flash so quickly you can't tell. So that little dot really gives you a sense of whether you're going um, in high or low gear. Yes. So yeah. you need that perception of, of the speed of the car. So, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Very fun, actually. Yeah, it's very cool. It's actually really <laughs> quite challenging yeah. to avoid uh, them crashing into you. Mm-hmm. Um, so the next game is, let me get off the interview, go back to this one. Mm -hmm. It is, oh, one second. Labamento. Um, and I think this is a mix of the two words lab and experiment <laughs> but uh, you can help us out in the chat there um, this is a 4k game as well you can download all of these from the website mm -hmm. of Donsoft's website um, after the burning sensation leaves your eyes looking around you silently yell what the hell where's the wizard the sticky maze walls of labamento seems to impose you uh, imp impose you prison in all direction prisoner in all directions but hey, a voice appears from nowhere, says there's an exit, a portal somewhere in the building. You only have to find it and what? Another maze? A maze inside a maze? <laughs> yeah, the voice says, seven inner stages with deadly security, Cartesian ghosts wandering around. You start to run for your life, left and right, and the voice once again explains your dreary situation. Get me some bright elemental magic keys. I will try to send you back to your strange magical world. Mm. Sounds very uh, intriguing. Yes. Mm. Where's my mouse? There it is. There we go. My mouse is acting up. Lab. Labamento. Oh, Gabby, my daughter. This is Gix. Gabby, my daughter, called Pac-Man Labyrinth. Like oh, Pac -Man Labyrinth. Labyrinth. Labamento when she was younger. That's very oh, sweet. That is. <laughs> uh, so there's the title screen, Labyrinto. I see, yeah. Oh. Like a labyrinth. Labyrinth. La Labyrinto and yeah. something else, yeah. I always um, joke with my friend who's uh, Spanish. 
she said when she doesn't know a word in English, which is very rare nowadays because she's yeah. been in uh, in Canada a long time, in North yeah. America and U.S. in a long yeah. time. But the ones that she doesn't know, she says to me, "What is the word for blah?" Or she uses a word. She says, "Can I use the word blah?" And I go, "You can." <laughs> Nobody's used that word for 50 years yeah. or 75 years. And it's like um, labyrinth. Like nobody, hardly well, anybody would, would say. would say maze instead of labyrinth. Yeah, yeah hardly yeah. anybody would say labyrinth. You'd say maze. Mm. But it's still valid. People yeah. would understand you. But I mean, uh, I mean, I've gone through French immersion. It's sort of yeah. the same with French. Oh, there are a yeah. lot of words, you know, you try to, you try to like bastardize the English into a French word yes. or put a French accent on it. And usually you're close but it's like um, the translation of words. It's like it's translating a word that exists, but it might not be exactly perfect for the situation, right? And I think the reason for that yeah. is, is English is a, a much quicker evolving language. And it changes a lot and incorporates a lot of languages. I think it's just absorbed where... a lot of languages over the years. Yeah. yeah. And, and Spanish is a very static language. Yeah. I mean, there is slang. Yeah. But the core is very, very static. Yeah. Whereas English changes quite rapidly like if you go back to the early 1900s you would use very quite different words to to yeah. like in a sentence when you would explain things okay let's get to the game okay or not <laughs> where's my mouse come on be good can you do it no oh there's my mouse okay oh. Oh, what am I doing? Sticky? Yeah, your little dot. Oh, it's cute. It's got little running legs. <laughs> I'm going to turn it up a bit. This one's quite quiet. I don't know what this thing is, but I am, I'm... Oh, I'm stuck. I know, because I'm turning it up. There oh, I see. So I played this a little bit. You have to get the dot, and then you have to get to the workbench. And not get killed by that thing. And not get smacked by that thing. But that's kind of random, isn't it? Welcome, Ricardo Pim. Oh, I have to get to the dot? Yeah, get the dot, and then get to the lab <gasps> bench. Ah! Shouldn't have moved up. He was doing a beeline. He only goes in uh, straight lines, so does just he? make sure you're out of the way of, ah! that, of that line. Oh. Oh. So that's maze one. It does say there's seven mazes. Seven. At least in the description, seven inner stages. And that's a Cartesian ghost. Um, what I don't, would that I translate don't... to? Cartesian is associated with maps. No, well... What is that associated with maps? Because there's a Cartesian coordinates. No, no. What's Cartesian? Um, it's a form of mathematics, isn't it? Oh, Cartesian mathematics. Ah! So you walked right into them. I didn't, purposely. <laughs> <laughs> I like how, like how it signifies that you touched the key. It's, the walls are very sticky. Yeah, they are. <laughs> very sticky walls. But it tells you what uh, level you're on, too, by the uh, dots on the top. You've passed uh, three mazes so far. Yes, yeah, something that uses X and Y coordinates. Uh, that's Cartesian what it is. Coordinates, coordinates, X and Y. Yeah. And that's the way it's moving. It's like X, Y, Y, X, Y. Oh, level, level five. No. Oh. Oh my goodness, I went totally the wrong way. Yep. Wasn't paying attention, clearly. Oh. So are these mazes fixed, or are they random? I'm guessing if they're seven, they're probably fixed mazes. If it oh. goes forever, I would have guessed that they are random mazes. Oh, level five. Yeah, if it goes up to seven, then it would fill the whole bottom of the screen. Oh no, precarious position. <laughs> Fixed, but the sound is random. Very good sound. Oh, nuts! He got oh, right. yeah, so close. I, I, I moved too far to the left. Sound is random. And dark. Yes. X Y you, coordinates. That makes sense. I'll get My you to read the next part of the uh, interview. All right. you come on everything's <laughs> slow today slow and chunky there we go number three 
Number three? Oh my goodness. All right, could you tell me a little history about the development of your games? Z1B, so the zombie one, was a proof of concept if I could uh, if I could handle all the Atari programming restrictions. Atari Basic is awesome because you can see and play your game design and development uh, progressing step by step. As a teacher, I try to convince my students about the importance of restriction-based design. Brazilians are prone to creative thinking because we lack, not because we boast. <laughs> um, after Z1B, I thought about an evasive game with a plane with limited ammunition and controls. Um, you can only go up and down, but the controls are set in the perspective of the pilot. That's right. Cisney. Uh, Cisney is the Portuguese word for swan. An air action game swan. within the Y coordinate. Uh, sometime later, I started another project based on my daughter misspelling the word labyrinth when she was four years <laughs> old. She called Pac-Man game Lab Labimento, and I love the sonority of Labimento. it. Labimento. Yeah, it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful sounding game. An air action game, uh, sorry, yeah, an air, uh, where are we? In Labimento, my restriction was on the enemy, artificial intelligence. How to make it daunting and unpredictable. Ow! What about the maze construction and game progression deeper and deeper in sound and colors? Uh, I think it was the game I fine-tuned the most and still do some work, uh, and still some work to do. Mm. I love the gate. It's like a Japanese... Yeah. Um, uh, not Buddhist... Uh, I can't think of the... Um, the other religion. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway. Um, terrible. I'm terrible with names. I'm horrible yeah. with names. I have to just say that right Me out. Too. I, I'm, I'm a visual person. I can picture things and I can picture people, but I forget names like that. Um, it gets hidden in the maze, too, if he's on top of something. With Labamento Adventure done, I thought it... I thought it was t it was the time to bring to light a very old idea about car racing seen from above, like the ancient 74 Tato's Speed Race, the first video game I remember playing as a child with my dad in a bar. Uh, Cororama was the name, a mix of Corrida, Race, and Autorama, um, uh -huh. as we call slot car racing in Brazil. In Cororama, I've struggled with some very interesting problems. How to make more than one rival if Atari has only two player sprites. Mm. Call me a 4K old sport. <laughs> I do not use bank switch, neither multi-sprite, at least for now. Right. Um, how to have an interesting acceleration illusion. How to change the landscape right. is homage to Enduro, an you, old patch. You did comment on the acceleration. I do. You need that. You need that little that little stripe running down the side. Yeah. Shinto. Thank you, Kathy. Shinto. Shinto yes. religion. So the Shinto gates. Um, anyway, I digress. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, he's restrictions, restrictions. Now. You have limited fuel and other racers are going to hit hard on your red car, so avoid them. How? Use your gears wisely. Yes, exactly. You have a low and a high gear. I think Ow. that is the Atari 20, 2600 game yes. design motto before all development restrictions. Ow. Use your gears wisely. <laughs> yes. But I think that's true. I think creativity is spurned by... Um, restriction. Restriction and um, constriction, too. It's like it's the things you don't have that make you creative in finding solutions, right? Yes. So... Um, and, and that's really true for games really oh, true for games oh yes and that's probably why people still develop for the 2600 because they could have they could make a game a thousand times better graphics than this yeah uh, better sound everything yeah uh, running on a faster processor but still people develop for the 2600 because they love working within the limitations of it and being able to accomplish something amazing on such a limited system yeah and I think you've even done, um, you know, 24-hour movie um, competitions and things like that. Yes, I where have, yeah. Where you have such a limited amount of time and you're supposed to put together a short film. And there's something about that environment where you're just so restricted in yeah. what you can and can't do. And then it just spurns, spurns creativity. I think yeah. there's nothing worse than a blank canvas and unlimited paint. Yes. You know, it's like, what, what do you design and what do you actually, what do you do? But when you have even some sort of constraints, then you can, you can be a lot more creative with that. So. I swear this yeah. guy's like after me. 
But he's not. You're doing really well. I've lapped it. Have you? Yeah. Oh, he's wow. very fast well, now. He did better than me. You just have to stay out of his his one of his coordinates. Like, ow. Yeah. <laughs> Thought I would get there quicker, but he got me. Cafe Man 2 da says, how many mazes are there? There's seven, right? Seven, and then it resets. So far, the first reset are they so was somewhat a faster random, though? The first reset was a, ra a fast. Now he's faster. Oh, ow. I see. Damn it. <laughs> I don't know how many times you can get hit. No. In all no. the games that he makes, the zombie one is the only one where you can actually tell when you're about to die. In this one, there's no indication no. of how much health you have. Same with the airplane one. Mm. I think. Airplane one. Car racing one, yeah, you have no idea when you're going to die. Mm. Um, so I've lapped it again, and it's just faster. Mm -hmm. So he has seven mazes. It looks like they're ordered randomly. Like, look how fast it is. <laughs> He's moving it's insane. faster. But the, is the, are the oh, mazes, are the, mazes the same? The, the mazes are the same, I think. Yeah. yeah. Ow. <laughs> I love how James feels the pain of the player as he's playing oh, the game. <laughs> Mostly the guy goes along the far edges, yeah. I've noticed. But yeah, but he does jump into the middle sometimes. There is some more some rarely, randomness. More rarely. Yeah. So that's a little hint on. So don't stay on the edges mm. if you can. And make sure you're lined up before you go for something because this guy is sticky, sticky. <laughs> sticky to the wall. Like, I'm not going up there. I really like his. his Ow! Uh, oh! You haven't died yet, though, which is shocking. Um, I really like his. Uh, his movement and the fact that he just kind of looks like a um, a tiny little matchstick when he's not moving. Yes, it's just he's like a little great. matchstick. There was a Commodore 64 game called Realm of Impossibility mm. that the characters in it were so minimal. Like the, the drawings of it, it mm. reminds me of this guy where he's like four pixels until mm. he starts running, and it was like that in that game too. Mm. Ow. <laughs> oh. All the enemies were like four pixels, but they're all different four pixels. Yep, yep. I knew I would get hit. <laughs> so dangerous. Mm -hmm. Get out of here. <laughs> Ow! You went right for me. Yeah. Hooray! Good job. That was very good. Yeah, I didn't think I was going to do Should that. Should I well. go and grab a cat? Because we haven't we haven't had a cat, <laughs> a cat? in the room for a while. Um, not while I'm in the middle between games. Okay. <laughs> I'll let you start playing the next a game. game. Cuz I have to set things up and <laughs> me right. just setting things up is very terrible okay. by myself. Fair enough. Fair enough. Well, thank you very much, Gix. Yeah. <laughs> so, you can get one while I'm playing a game. Yes. Um, so the next game is the last of the five Brazilian games we're going to be playing. Okay. La Cabrita, which I believe is goat. You can oh. correct me. I but I think did it is, you look it it's up? the goat. <laughs> well, when I did a search for the game, like just in general, it came up with a ton of goat pictures from all over the place. <laughs> okay. Yeah, love the two by three player. Yes, yes. I love minimalist yes, I do. things yeah. for, the, for the Atari because you can get really detailed. Yeah. But if you do them well, like that running animation in the last game is mm. amazing. It was just like two little pixels going to the side and. Um, so this game is from 2019. It is a uh, co um, made with two people, Guilherme Xavier and Emmanuel Ferreira, who are both in the chat tonight. And let's take a look. Uh, it's a 4K game again. They seem to like to limit themselves to 4K. Mm. He said there's no bank switching, so you can do 4K without bank switching. Mm. That means your code, your graphics, everything is accessible altogether. Um, because the maximum uh, Atari 2600 can um, address at once. Oh, at all, all at the same time. Okay. So if you wanted to have a game bigger than that, you have to switch banks of 4K. Mm. But then everything within that 4K you have to use together. So mm. you have to have the graphics and the things that you are, um, the program you're running is all together in that 4K. Okay. You can still have variables and your like your your stack and your uh, memory or not your memory but yeah your your memory your 128 bytes 
you can still carry that over okay but not the rest of it okay um so Guilherme emailed me and let me know about the credits for La Caparita. He said the cartridge and the cover art was made by my nine-year-old daughter, Aww. Gabby. Nice. Um, and he said, please note that La Caparita is not a DMGD game. As I said in the last email, it's a joint venture that I have my dear my, with my dear friend, Emmanuel. Mm -hmm. We did it to learn more about the electronics behind Atari uh, game cartridges. So it's a, ga a case study we intend to publish about very soon oh so let's switch that over then you can take a look oh switch the game there you can see the the artwork done by his daughter very cute mm -hmm. still a work in progress not finished Yes, the goat. Ah, female goat. Yeah, yes. la, la cabrita. Again, very, very much like French. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh, but I did transfer over the instructions, so let me just get them up on this computer before uh, I switch over. Yeah, my computer has to spin up the hard drive. There we go. <laughs> Okay, so I'll jump into it and see how you do without instructions. There's the goat! <laughs> and I'll go uh, get the instructions from here. Hmm? I'll bring up the instructions. Oh, you're getting it. Uh, uh, La Cabrita. Um, here we are, the lovely... Katinga, the, san, oh, the sun, the land, the struggle, the storm. Storm, oh my goat, watch out! <laughs> Vroosh, the skies changed. After the storm, all the goats went away, flying within that strange hurricane. Oh, the hurricane took away all the goats. <gasps> Where are they now? Oh, no. Ay, 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 you oh, found pink. one. Oh no, oh, that's pink not goat. a good sign. White, furry, it's La Cabrita. Oh. We must bring her back to safety. Yes. But take care, the tracks are now full of anthills, fences, and those damn birds flying crazy as hell. Yeah. <laughs> Fortunately, some capin grass can be found around to replenish her health. So look for grass. Grass? Oh. Uh, La Cabrita knows what is good. Bam! The moon and a single star are her only companions. Nice. Oh, there's this. There's the moon and the star. The moon. <laughs> the gigantic pixel moon. I like that. Yeah. Big chunky moon. Mm-hmm. La chèvre, c'est bon. Chèvre, is that goat? La chèvre. Chèvre. Uh, your job is simple. Run as long as possible. Bringing the goat from left to right, jumping obstacles, and eating capum grass when available. Uh, have you seen grass yet? Yeah. Was that grass? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Brown? I was like, oh, I think that's grass. <laughs> I guess the goat likes eating brown I grass. I mean, your first, your first uh, instinct is to just to avoid anything on the ground. But yes. it's like, oh, if that's grass, oh, I stopped being pink. So that worked out well. Yeah. Oh, oh changed, birds. changed he, lanes. Yeah, he changed, changes lanes. There's an up and a down lane. Uh, the track oh, has two funny. lanes. The obstacles can be jumped over or dodged. If La Cabrita jumps over the anthills, you get some points. Oh. A bit more is given uh, by jumping fences, and a lot more is given by jumping lane-changing birds. Mm. If La Cabrita oh. simply dodges them, no points are given. Well, La Cabrita likes jumping challenges. Interesting, La Cabrita cannot jump without <laughs> taking some distance. Sounds easy, but as La Cabrita jumps around, it becomes more and more excited and careless. Hey, hey, looks funny and dangerous. <laughs> love the translation if i you, love it i i, I have to sense. say um there's something so formal about um translating something to english but then calling it yes. la something because yeah. because there's obviously there's no gender in english words but there is in in like french and spanish and, almost, and, almost other all, uh, all yeah languages. and uh i just i just just say just calling it La Cabrita. Oh, I you just, get quite a bit of health. Oh, you, your health goes right, right. Oh, okay. I just I, I just find that very if, endearing. <laughs> it is cute. Yeah. 
If you manage to uh, go nice. on and on, the track will become more and more dangerous to travel. The more dangerous it gets, the more obstacles will change colors. At a thousand, three thousand, five thousand, and seven thousand. So you made the one thousand. So the next one's three thousand. Uh, the same occurs with La Cabrita's health. If she gets hurt, her color will occasionally change from white to bloody red. <gasps> bloody Ooh. red! Or the pink. pink. <laughs> the game ends when La Cabrita's health is over. Ay ay ay! That's in here. <laughs> I'm not saying that. <laughs> uh, La Pizza. La Pizza, yeah! Example. There's something, it's lovely. Yeah. La Pizza. La Pizza. Uh, it's very romantic. I, I love the pinks. It works for Valentine's Day. It does. We, yes, I, it does. I was trying to think, are there any <laughs> games that are love-based uh, yeah. or heart-based? And there's so few for the 2600. Well, so we just, I just thought, let's just there's, do a bunch of there's games. There's a ton of horror slash ha Halloween themed. Lots and of then those. you've got lots of Christmas ones. But Valentine's Day, not you know, many. it's not quite so easy. Romantic... Video Romantic games? video games are uh, definitely a minority. I mean, so. um, you could play the old Popeye because you have to catch hearts. Oh, that's so. true. Yeah, yeah. But that's not a homebrew, so. I mean, there are romantic like RPGs and things like that. Yeah. Although they're they're probably not so much romantic as just. Ow! Goat hit. Got hit. Did he? Yeah. A little bit. Not too much. But um, yeah. Difficulty switches. Nothing. Uh, Black and white television? Seriously, not even here in Brazil. So, um, Game select to switch the game variation, but is, there is none after the storm. Oh, so there's... Geez. Jumping is not great. <laughs> in television, Dracula, neck biting, red blood. Mm, yeah. uh, this is a work in progress version. Too easy, he says. Maybe. Yeah. Well, Maybe I've screwed up a lot and I haven't died, so... Oh. Oh, 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 now no. I'm pink, and then boop. Oh, that didn't give you much. No, you it gives you it less. Back. It should gives you less. It backwards. Do you think? Yeah. I'm still pink. The color of. So if you see it, get well ahead, blood. and then pull back with it. Get ahead. No, oh, okay. no, I don't think you. No. I don't think you can. Yeah, I think you get what you get. Did you change colors? It said three thousand was the next level. Yeah, I'm at three thousand. Oh, I got blue. Yeah, I have blue. Um, scoring. Each obstacle the Cabrita jumps gives you some score points is how it's supposed to work. Birds, 50. Fence, 30. Anthill, 10. So the birds are the most. Yeah. So really, you want to jump as much as you can to get the points. Yeah. What are the sprites on the floor supposed to be? Well, that's a bird there. That's the fence. Yeah. That's a bird. You can see him flicker for a second. He was a fence. And that's, that's grass. grass. And there's a rock, an anthill. There's an anthill. That's the anthill. Yeah. And then there's the moon and the star. And I'm guessing those are fences. Yeah. Just to show the fences. passage of uh, movement. The yeah. path. Oh. I oh. think we broke the game. The end. You won. Nope. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> a little break. Um. Penalties. If Le Cabrita jump, uh, fails to jump or get hit by an obstacle, some points are taken from your score. Oh. Do you die, though? Is there injury? I guess there and is because he turns pink. Or some, she turns pink. I, I apologize. Yeah. And some pain is inflicted on this lovely goat. Ear! Oh. You can check Le Cabrita's oh. health by looking at the bright white bar above those valuable score points, which are your current proof of performance. Try not to hurt her. No, she's lovely. Uh, this game manual provides essential information you'll need to handle La Cabrita. So keep your eyes open uh, on the sandy roads of the Brazilian northeast, northeastern landscape for incoming <laughs> hurdles. The following are just uh, a few hints to help you succeed in the game. It's kind of it's kind of nice that this is, you know, based in a certain location on the Earth. A lot of games are like, oh, it's in space, <laughs> or it's not even specified. Yeah. But this is like in Brazil, not even just Brazil, northeastern Brazil. Northeast. <laughs> well, I have to say, goats have um, a soft place in my heart because you do call me fainty goat from time to time. So. Yeah, when you get up. Oh, now it's now I saw that <laughs> it's fast. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, oh. Um, so le, le, but le, I actually think Cabrita is a much oh, lovely. <laughs> like you just have to call me the fainty Cabrita. Okay, fainty from, Cabrita. <laughs> from now on. Oh. 
Oh, it's really moving. This is much better. Yeah, this yeah. is definitely harder. I think you have to accelerate to this level a little faster, but uh, yeah. I do enjoy it. Because this was quite a jump up um, from the last level. Oh, so it yeah. Been <laughs> it's a bit of, a, better a bit of take, an extreme. Take it in a stages. <laughs> um, so I, that's the Valentine's Day reference right now. Is, is La Cabrita. La Cabrita. Use the lanes wisely. You can't score oh. up by dodging obstacles, but at least you can avoid hurting La Cabrita. If you're not sure whether you should be able to perform a successful jump or not, this can prove to be a good move. Uh-oh. This is Need feeling like the, the speeder level in uh, Battletoads. Oh, he's red <gasps> oh, now. No! She's red. No! Oh, you're getting hurt. Why do you keep hitting the fences? It's not easy to jump. You have to push forward and push the button at the same time. Oh, so you're dark red now. <gasps> no, I Blood need red. some grass. Where's the grass? Oh, this is your last. Oh, ay, 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 ay. Ay, 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 ay. Sometimes you will run over an obstacle for a fraction of a slice of a goat. Don't be sad. Oh. There you go. So, nice. X Xavier, game designer, programmer, retro beard, <laughs> game designer, programmer. So this was last updated November 22nd. Nice. Yeah, that was fun. <laughs> so I will play and you will read off the last. I will, but I'm going to run off for just one very quick second. Okay. All right. I will play for a little bit. And then I'll read off this. But this is the last game, so we have to okay. finish off his interview. Let's see how well I do. Yeah, it's probably a... Oh, you do gain as you go backwards, so my advice was correct. Oh, oops. Oh, it's hard to... Oh. Yes, and I did learn something. If you hold down the button before a jump, you just have to press forward. Which is, uh, makes it a lot easier. Did I clear that or did I get hurt? Oh. There we go. If you hold down the button, the goat goes nuts. Now, do you have to be in the same lane as the thing to get the points? I'm going to see if... Yeah, you do. Of course. Makes sense. So you have to jump a little bit early for the fences. Or you're going to get hurt. So it's better to stay back. There we go. Except in the grass, you want to accelerate. Oh, I didn't jump fast enough there. There we go. Oh, and like the first game we played, it would be good if the the moon traversed across the sky, so you could tell where you are in the level, or the star moved. Which is a nice uh, feature in um, uh, Aardvark, um, the award-winning game Aardvark. Um, winner of Best Graphics in 2019 Atari Homebrew Awards. I've just seen a... F Oh, I can't read that fast enough. I have to pay attention to the game. Oh. Just seeing a full... No, I can't. Can't read it. You're retrieving cats? Oh, you've got a gray cat. He's much more uh, calm. Yeah, but the funny thing is, is the black and white one, I picked up Atari. And <laughs> Pixel's like, what are you doing with that cat? He, Where are you he, taking my, my brother? Yeah. Why is my brother coming down here? Why are you not picking me up? <laughs> you know you don't like being picked up. No. <laughs> Okay. Where's your tablet? Yeah. Um, a little helpful hint. Mm -hmm. If you hold down the button, all you have to do is press forward to jump. Oh, yeah. And you do That's get fine. more uh, health if you pull back on the grass. And oh, you do? Along. Okay. So, so holding yourself on the grass. Oh, gotcha. Where, so four? I believe so. 
Could you tell me a little bit about the relationship between the Atari 2600 and Brazil and why you think there is such a big Atari 2600 I really wanted homebrew this. community in Brazil? I really wanted this question answered. Okay. So Atari in Brazil is lovingly remembered as the first or last console. When you tell someone you're making games for Atari, no one tells you you're crazy because you're developing <laughs> oh. for a dead system, but they tell you, wow, seriously, my father had an Atari. Oh, wow. Uh, it is like speaking Klingong or knowing the first hundred numbers of Pi. <laughs> uh, it is a specialty. One day I told a friend I was making games for Atari as an old school retro gamer, electro tech enthusiast, Emmanuel... Retro beard went crazy. How? How it's done? Uh, it was last November. We discussed the system, the games, the tools. In the end, he posed the question, okay, but your games are not in a cartridge. We have to put them in there. Right. Um, better indeed, we started a new game project to make a complete game design experience from concept to code, art, ROM burning, and cartridge insertion in a real Atari 2600 ready to play. Our deadline was an event with other retro gamers at Canal 3 annual uh, annual encounter, or I guess like the annual event. Uh, event. Yeah. yeah. Gathering. Um, here in Rio. In this, uh, in in the in uh, the 30 days, um, in 30 days, our, our game Lab Cabrita was complete, burned. Um, uh oh, it's sped up. In a 40 year old EEPROM inside a labeled cartridge with minor adjustments to make uh, the final version. Um, Ow. Oh my god. It... I think it explains in part the relationship between Atari 2600 and Brazil. As old school gamers, we grew up admiring the technological um, participation and accomplishments of our childhood. Um, the toys, the cartoons, and the games were the foundations of our relationship with each other. Um, that's the base of our social skills. Uh, the homebrew community in Brazil reflects this feeling um, about late realization. Unable to have the latest novelties, we can now look back over our shoulders thinking how happy we are with so little. Uh, now we have the tools and the time. Let's make something um, something that will make our people, our family, our friends happy too. How's it going? <laughs> It's challenging, but I... It, once you hit green level, it starts to fly. Oh, that. Yeah. It does. It, it flies at green level. But I think I've got the hang of it mostly. Oh, brown level now. You have to tap the button and push forward as hard as you can and jump immediately as soon as you see the thing on the screen. Kitten, can you get the cat, please? Oh, he's so cute, though. No, he chews. So. He starts Come here, but, come trouble. here baby. No, come here. And he blocks my view and he scratches the TV. He'll just hold you up for everyone to see his beautiful black pixel on his belly, which he hates me pointing out. <laughs> I'm going to hold him for a bit and then he's going to attack me. Yep. And I'll answer question number five. Oh, I have to before the end of the game. The end of the game? Oh, but I have a black and white cat in my oh. hands. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you're in black level now. Ooh, kicking my butt. I need grass, though. Yeah, the grass doesn't come when you need it. That's that's basically the rule. The goat is crazy. Yes, the goat is crazy. La cabrita. There's no time for switching lanes. <laughs> you just, just have jump. to jump everything. It's true. Are you angry? Are you angry? Oh, yes, man. you are. Can't you know angry. who else is angry? <gasps> James, you. because you keep attacking his cords. Yep. Yes. Oh, cut a little bit. He is oh. very cute and very fluffy and full of hate. Barely got anything. What are your feelings? Yeah. These are his feelings on Valentine's Day. Let He's the chewing. hate flow through you. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Full of cat hate. <laughs> fluffy hate. Fluffy hate. Hello, Retro Gamer 1970. What are the ages of Atari Cat and Pixel Cat? Oh, uh, I think so. Atari just seven? turned four, and this guy's seven. Um, even though he's quite small, he kind of has <laughs> the look of a kitten. He is not a kitten. He's a very angry old man. Black is the highest level on this. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. It's staying on black. Oh, oh, you have a break there. Might be grass soon. Yeah. Usually comes in twos at the end of the level. <laughs> there it is, and there's another one. Nice. Oh. 
Get your grass. Oh, it reset. Yay. Yay. <laughs> it's back to snow. Oh, okay. Is that the first color again? Uh, the orange? Yeah, yeah that... I think it is. I think it did cycle all over. I nice. beat the game. <laughs> I think the fastest level is fine. It needs to ramp up slower to like an even ramp up. Mm. But the obviously the fastest one is not enough to kill me. So... <laughs> But it is very, very challenging. I think I might give up soon. Oh, can you read the rest off? Yes. So number five. I'll quit when you're done reading it. Okay. Fair enough. Do you have plans for more Atari 2600 homebrew games? Sure. In the next few weeks, I, re I will release TTX, a single player. Mm. Um cunning and reflex tank battle game and oh. after tira tango a fast paced pew 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 duel for two players <laughs> two players based hey. on brazilian and i do not know this word kenga kenga sniero mm. kenga sieros i do not know what that means hmm. Uh, after that, the Goat Story Trilogy, La Cabrita being the first chapter. I'm very excited. We'll be more back goats. with a second adventure, even more intense, Milky and Toasty. Milky and I don't toast. know what that means either. Milky Let's check it out. <laughs> that sounds like fun. Milky and Toasty. Milky and Toasty. Maybe those are the goat's names. Uh, Cangasieros. 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 Very cool. So tank battle game, a duel, nice. and uh, uh, sequels to uh, La Cabrita. So I'm very excited. Hooray! <laughs> and Gabby is thanking for the comments on the cover art. Yeah, it's very, very lovely. Very nice. Yes, very nice cover art. Yeah, very cute goat. It's very happy goat. His yeah, arms. I think that's lovely. But this goat's gonna die. Oh Sadly. no! The goat is dark. Magenta pink. Oh, red. Aye, aye, aye. aye, aye. <laughs> Western bandits. Oh, Western okay. bandits. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Guess, yes. Great game. Lots of fun. Um, still, you're still working on it. So the things I would suggest is a ramp up. So it's not a hard cut to super fast all yeah. of a sudden. Yeah. Um, but the highest level is... Really fun. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> yeah. It's totally fine. Yeah. It's, it's quite challenging. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's good. Thank you so much for the interview yes. and the insight into the Brazilian uh, Atari scene. Yeah, that's very cool. So the last game we're going to be playing today, uh, tonight is Kite from 2009. Okay, action and fun. What song is that again? Very class, classical. What? Uh, no, no, I know what you mean. Uh, I played it on my feet. <laughs> um. Turn that down. Yeah, that is not, really not quite, though. Okay, so this can be played with one or two joysticks. Mm -hmm. We're going to play with one joystick first. For now, yeah. Yep, so press the button. Working? Oh, it's a yep. kite! Oh, so what am I trying to do? Oh, you got hit. Um, you're trying to get the dots. How do I get the dot? How do I go down? By steering left and right. Oh. How do I go down? Oh. By turning, turning. Because you're pulling the kite with two strings, right? Yeah. I don't know how to... Come on, how do I get down? Come on. You keep turning. Turning. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah. Um, so this is uh, by Simon Cairnhorst, Cairnhorst a.k.a. Simon. Uh, first posted March 4th, 2009. The cat is watching. Gotcha. It's a 4K game. Yeah, the cat is very excited. Very impressive for 4K. With the birds and the city and the hands at the bottom. Uh, other games he's made, AVCS Tech Challenge, which is a fun game, which I loved on the C64. He made a great conversion. Oh, don't go with, down. Uh, <laughs> Bringing down uh, the number of levels. Gotcha. Is this too zoomed in? Or... No, I think 
it. No, it's fine. Um, okay, so uh, when he posted this on the Atari Age forums, oh, I have to set it, reset it for you. Mm, it's old school game where you have to press reset on the I swear on the system. it only turns one way. C click it again, please. It lies. I can only turn. Okay, so I'm turning right. And then you press the other direction to turn left. I. Really? Oh, maybe it's set to two joysticks. Let's see. I swear on the screen there was like. Something funny. It is very it is. unique. There it is. There's yeah. the two and there's the one. There you go. Yeah, the there line... we go. Now it's turning. <laughs> the line count was is too big on this game. What is going on here? There, there we, we go. go. Now That's I have better. full con control. We just couldn't see them. So this game is very unique. Oh, yes. Shoot. Okay, don't move left or right when I go to the title screen. Okay. Just press the button. Otherwise, it'll go back to two joysticks again. No, it's gone back to two. Okay, press to the left. No, to the left. Your other left. There. Now press the button. Working. <laughs> that cat is a is a nuisance. Oh, yes. So left. Left. And press the button. So why can I not see the jo joysticks? Because this is a PAL game, and they have more lines in PAL, and I don't oh, have it formatted so it displays properly between the two things. Um, he said uh, this is when he first posted about the game. Hello, I started working on my sixth VCS game project kite and would like to tell you about the current version oh i didn't finish reading off all the games he's made uh in caved i project kite mental combat raster fandung um uh, plus he's done a bunch of oh. demos and um c64 games press That's to the weird. left and press the button hmm. no press to the left and press the button there you go um and you could download this at the karen quernhorst.de website and also, it's still available to purchase on cartridge from uh, Good Deal Games, because Michael Thomas Thomason uh, let me know when I posted this when we we're when I uh, oh what what did you get hit by lightning? No, I just went brown. Well, I'll get to oh, the oh sorry. I'll get to the instructions so we'll know why you're going brown. Yeah, that's weird. Um, I think that. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> That's what happens. Um, I think the sport of kiting was not conver cover covered by any video game so far, and I hope that this game is something new in video games. That's so weird. Why am I going brown? Oh, we'll get to it. I just suddenly go brown and Okay, and I'll skip to the instructions. Let's take a look. Am I not getting enough of them? Is that what? Am I getting them fast enough? The game... Start your kite flight early in the morning. The sun has not been risen and the sky is dark. Your kite launches automatically and you can start instantly collecting the small dots on the screen. Depending on the duration of your gameplay, the difficulty increases and different levels offer different obstacles. Avoid the lightning. While the periods between them get shorter in later levels, watch the bird closely. You're not hitting the bird, are you? No, I haven't hit the bird once. Uh, it sometimes changes from moving horizontally diagonally. The dot is uh, fixed random positions at the beginning, but in later le levels it will also move. Sometimes it moves uh, according to the cloud. Sometimes it moves along closer to the bird. Sometimes everything happens together. The game tries to avoid unnecessary displays and counters. The remaining game time is indicated by the position of the sun moving left to right. The amount of hits is shown... I think if you don't move for a while, also it's a problem. Like, it loses wind. Buoyancy? Yeah. Yeah, I agree. There's something funny going on there. The amount of hit is shown by the color of your kite. The color gets darker with every hit. I didn't get hit by anything, though. There's or is also... it, am I hitting the edges? Oh, maybe. Is that what happens? I don't know. Ugh. You went a little darker there. No, that did, yeah. but that I got hit. Like, that makes sense. Yeah. Scoring. You fetch points for every collected dot. 
Uh, the amount of points depends on the number of hits your kite has taken already. You start with three possible hits and receive three points for every collected dot. The first hit, you only receive two points. After that, you get one point. So try not to get hit and you'll get more points. If you manage to play until the sun disappears at the left side of the screen, you win the game. And receive one bonus point for every collected dot. So there's an end to this game. Uh, the game offers two different joystick possibilities. You can play with one or two joysticks. You control the amount of joysticks on the introductory screen. Oh, don't follow the cloud. Um, the game was initially designed to be played with two joysticks, one joystick for each hand. Pressing the left joystick makes the kite turn counterclockwise, while pushing the right joystick down lets you turn the clock kite clockwise. These controls offer better authenticity as you control a normal kite with two handles. You should use joysticks with such suction cups for best control results. Simon did a bunch of 2600 homebrews, including Mental Combat and ACVCS Challenge. Yes, I do like that AVCS Tech Challenge. I have a oh, cartridge you got me. up here. Where is it? Is it buried? Nope. Right here. Yeah, I agree. The hand animations are pretty cool. There. That's one of his games, AVCS Tech Challenge. Oh, shiny. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to try? Or yes. Are you done? Uh, not even close. Oh, <laughs> what so am I reading? Start wherever there wasn't whatever I didn't read. I don't know what you read because I was playing the game. <laughs> uh, uh oh, we're in trouble then. Where did you end up? You just scrolled up. I don't oh, know. Because I was trying to look for the exact why you're going brown, but apparently you're hitting the side of the screen? No, I don't know why don't know? I was going brown. I, I, It makes sense if you hit the ground, it makes sense if you hit a bird or if the lightning hits you, but I was like hitting the edge and then turning brown and just hitting, like very strange, it was very strange. But yeah, like that. I could have hit the edge, I was very close to the edge. Was but, it always but on I, the edge? I don't think the edges made you change colors. I'm gonna so. hit the edge on purpose. Nothing, see, <laughs> bizarre. Bizarre. Well, if you can find it, I didn't have enough time mm. to go through everything there. Joystick control scoring. Ah, uh, no, no lightning. There we go. Oh, during this time, there's no lightning when it's nice and sunny. It decreases as time goes on, apparently. That was close. Oh no, the bird, no! No, the bird! Nowhere near the sun is like barely got across the sky so far. Yeah, it has to get all the way across. And now I'm only getting one point per dot. Mm. So obviously to win the game you have to... Did you read the story of Kite? In my spare time, I worked for a kite company in the 90s, and when 20, 2008 came, I was thinking about a new theme for my next Atari VCS programming project. I thought that a video game about kites may be something new for video game consoles. In fact, I only know one unreleased prototype of a kite video game from 1984. Sure, there are Ow. there are some flash games on PC about the scene, but to my knowledge, no video games about kites was released for a game console by now. According to the theme, I thought that controlling the kite with two joysticks, emulating two kite handles, would be something new too. The game is dedicated to and supported by the German kite company Elliot. Hmm. Very cool. Damn it! Uh, Gix was saying, talking about kiting. Yeah. Kite is a cultural sport in Brazil. Oh. We call it Pippa here in Rio. Pippa? Pippa. We use a single thread though, so it's not these right. speed kites. Like I remember, I remember a period in the 90s where, Huge. where we would, you would go to like kite festivals and things like that. And I had this beautiful paper kite that was painted like a butterfly. Um, it was really, really nice. Um, yeah, kiting was massive a little while ago. And then he was saying that and some people here use broken glass mixed with glue to cut other other kiters' threads. So Jesus. like it was very competitive, competitive obviously. Yeah, that's oh, very cool. Damn it! 
Yeah, I think the visuals are beautiful. I love gorgeous. I love anything that has kind of the gradations. So whether you're looking yeah. at um, the sky or mountains in the background, or here you've got the green, the big expansive yeah. green grass. Green that's back. really beautiful. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Oh, there's a cat at the door. Of course, wants to come in and cause trouble. Yeah. Oh. I it, made it. it becomes like the Batman signal and falls to the ground. I made it to the lightning during the day. Yeah. So that's the furthest so far. I can't seem to get it to... Oh, gotcha. ...to turn brown again and fall to the ground and stay. It's just going to cause trouble. Is it a gray cat? Gray cat can come in. Gray cat's a good cat. Come Atari. Uh, yes, he is. Come Atari. I'd say he's a relatively good cat. <laughs> relatively. He can still be trouble, but... Hi, buddy. Mostly with cables. Aww. Chewing cables. Oh, but, but he's he loves to just sit between us and purr, so. Yes, he does. Yeah. He's the cat that's full of love. Yes. I don't know if anybody noticed. We have some hearts. Yes. So what happened there? We've got... We, we're going on the... Uh, the hearts in behind theme. us. I just turned brown and and fell to the ground. That's what happened to me multiple times. So I'm not really sure what's going on there. Can, there's a, can you find it? Did you? No, no. There's nothing in there describing that. So I don't know why. I don't. It's almost like time expired and oh, now your type fi falls to the ground. Maybe if you take too long getting a dot. I, I feel like it's hitting something fake. I don't know. Mm, you know yeah. what I mean? Like it's hitting it's hitting an obstacle, but there's Maybe no obstacle. Can't see. Yeah. Like it's a bug. Hi, buddy. Are you gonna play with the heart? Are you feeling valentine -y? Look at him. Oh, look at that cat. <laughs> Is he being cute? Yeah, he's he's playing with the, the valentine's heart. I just missed it. So far, so good. Oh, maybe if you turn too many times in the same direction, your Damn lines it. get tangled. That oh. would actually be... Uh, so you have to keep track? Reasonable. I'm going to do that. I'm just going <laughs> to keep, keep turning. That would actually make... Oh, an awful lot of sense. Are you going to keep going? Yep. You're funny. Oh. Yep. Yeah. Good call. So you have to keep track of that. Oh, oh but you just God. have to not always take the same turns. That would, I mean, that's reasonable and it makes a lot of sense. So just go left and right. Yeah. That is so. Oh, right into the ground. Now I'm, now I'm trying to keep track of left and right. Yeah. Well, you kind of have to now. Oh, come here. Come here. Come here. You gonna purr? Got some new next door neighbors today. Oh yeah, we can hear them stomping up the stairs. They're moving yeah. in. Moving stuff in. So. Yeah. You gonna purr? Can you purr for the mic? Can you purr? No. He's like I'm uncomfortable. I'm not gonna purr now. You gonna purr? No. Oh, sorry, oh. baby. Sorry. You okay? He okay. just complains sometimes. <laughs> He's yeah. okay. Yeah, you're okay, buddy. Oh, I'm getting tangled, I think. Yeah? Wish you could tell. No, you can't, can you? <sighs> One more, and then you go... Back. That is brilliant, though. It if is. If it is actually keeping track of how many turns you've taken. It is. And That's... I think it takes about... Five or six, which That's... it's not too hard to keep track of that. It's like no, well, no, no. Every time it goes this way, it's vertical. It would be nice. Out of one. Do the do the strings get closer together or anything? Okay. I'm gonna look at them now. Not that I can tell. That would be a good indicator. Yeah. But then you wouldn't know which direction they're getting close. Oh, the bird gotcha. Circling around it. Oh. Oh. Oh, you've gone way too many times. There you go. Okay. Here you go. Me? Oh, I don't know. Left. Oh, sorry. We'll play with two joysticks in a second. Let's <laughs> see if it's probably much harder. After, especially after we've been playing it with one joystick. So last episode we actually finished penalt. Oh, the demo. <laughs> it's just a demo. Very nice. Because I didn't know how long it was going to take, so I actually sectioned out three episodes for it. But um, 
it's it's a fairly limited demo where it just shows you kind of what the gameplay is rather than mm -hmm. oh you can go to all these towns and stuff Ugh. good thing about it is the bird comes out the same side that it went in oh, went right for it but you don't know where it's going to come out. Ah! There we go. <sighs> right down. One more. Then we'll try with two joysticks. Okay. See how that works out. Oh. Yeah, figure eight pattern is best. What are the cat's names? Uh, the one that was just brought in is Atari. The gray cat? N just randomly named. <laughs> Completely randomly. Yeah, I just picked a name out of a cat book. <laughs> You're not... just a big fan of Go. That's right. <laughs> um, oh, That's and the other uh, cat's name is Pixel because he's got a little black mark on his stomach. Mm -hmm. As if it's a burnt out pixel. Okay, here. Two joysticks. Is that right and left? or? Yep, it's like... That's, this is probably the left, because it's yeah, joystick I think one. So. No, 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 you can't play two players. No, no, oh, I'm just adjusting it. myself, that's all. Okay. So that... I don't know how mm -hmm. this is... This is not easier. <laughs> this is very not easy. That's no. very, like, pointless. <laughs> pointless. Pointless. <laughs> pointless. All right. Like, it's not like you, it's not like it's um, Robotron, where one joystick is moving. Okay. And the other is shooting direction. Oh, I see. Like, there's no need for that know. many controls. So what is this Robotron? What is this? Oh, uh... uh, it doesn't exist on the 2600. There's oh. too many things on the screen. Oh. Um, but say Berserk. Mm. Um, that could be converted to a two joystick game mm -hmm. where you can move left but shoot right because in Robotron like in Berserk, Berserk you have to shoot right while moving right mm -hmm. because you can't shoot in a different direction mm -hmm. unless you move left lock in your shot and then move right again and your shot stays moving left mm -hmm. yeah um, so I'm gonna play it again try and get further <laughs> smash TV yeah that's the evolution of Robotron mm -hmm. 2084 um, turned into Smash TV. Come on, strike, strike! Oh, good. <laughs> it is fairly timed, the strikes. Uh, yes. You can almost tell exactly when it's going to strike. It's like do, 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 spoosh. Yeah. <laughs> Just as long as you don't follow it spoosh. and you kind of know when it last struck, you can, yeah, you can avoid it fairly You can avoid easily. it well. And yeah. then it, it, it becomes more delayed in the, in the later screens. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they're making a lot of noise next door. Still moving in. <laughs> I think you guys rock. You gave us, what, f four games? Five games to five. play today? Yeah, thank you so much for... Yeah. Uh, I think I better start going. I like, and I have to say, I like I like games with simple concepts, too. Yeah, they can you be know? really fun. Yeah. I, I, I think I think Damn it takes it. more creativity to take something simple and make it make it challenging and fun than uh, you know to oh, yeah. create some crazy massive, game. massive RPG game and <laughs> you know both have their challenges but well uh, yes there's a certain unique challenge to yeah. having an addictive tiny game yes. that is really honed in on the gameplay itself yeah and that's what 4K games are really that's where they shine. Of course you're coming out the top. Of course you are. <laughs> That's where I am. I think it kind of aims for you. Mm. I'm going to watch that. So <laughs> that bird's no, coming from... No, random. I don't think so. I Just, think it is random. Yeah. I mean, there's only so much space on the screen that it can mm. fly through. So. so, the lightning will come back again, and that's where I didn't make it past. Oh. <sighs> oh. Bird. Getting it's close. So hard to avoid. You're brown now. Oh, Damn it! Man. It's, it's like the Batman signal fault. drops to Earth. That's Urgh. what I was. Oh yeah. 
Because I can't okay. avoid it's it. Okay. It's okay. <laughs> Angry cat. Pixel. Pixel. Atari. Atari's in here. Atari. Atari's angry. He's in here right now. He's looking at the door. I'll let, I'll let him out. You want out? Oh. Cafe Man 2D says, I never knew this game existed before tonight. Yeah. Oh my God. It's really cool. Yeah. There's so many games to play in the archives. Um, so I'd like to mix it up and have like an old game and a new game. Um, always, I'll try and do the new games, of course, when they come out so people can are aware of them. But, you know, when it's a little bit slower or there's not too many updates to new games, I'll um, dig in the archives a little bit. I knew the um, the Brazilian games we played today were smaller games, not too complex. Mm. So I knew we could get through them a little bit faster than a normal, like a, some of the bigger games. So that's why I scheduled five of them. Well, I think the last few episodes we've had, we've played a whole bunch of games at once because we were <laughs> we were playing all the nominated games. Uh, well, and we, we were just yes. like blasting through little that's, short stints of them and that's a little the different. last few shows we've done i've played like eight games a show which <laughs> I, I i have to say i enjoy because ah. i love seeing the diversity of games but uh yeah um but we had played but I love a lot these of little those games before. they're they're a lot of fun so they are yeah because they're easy to understand and pick up but hard to master yes that's the thing with yeah. small games they take time yeah Really, the trick is to get over to the opposite side where the bird is mm. when you're um, uh, oh, lightning's gonna come back, even though it got brighter. You're twisting like, your cords too. I know I am. I you gotta go back, go go around that way a yeah, few times. A times. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, it would be nice if the uh, cords got closer together or something. Yeah. So you would know that you've gone too far in one direction. But uh, I really like the hands and the animation. The pulling. Damn it. The yes. pulling is really awesome. Oh, All of yeah. it's really, really good. It's going to kill me. Yeah. Come on. There we go. Yeah, every lightning got me. Well, that was my best game so far. Um, is there a score? Can you see that? Oh, there it is, 58. Oh, okay, it is in there. Yeah. So, um, have you provided any updates on your Atari system? Uh, last episode I did, yes. Okay. Um, Which is what? Because I'm not sure where it stands right now. So. It, um, I replaced some capacitors in it. Okay. It did not make it worse or better. Okay. I still have more capacitors to replace when I get some time. Time is the factor in this yeah. equation. Also, my lack of skill. Um, I have also ordered a composite mod that I'm going to install in Atari Junior so that we'll have a real Atari back at least in okay. the meantime. Okay. So I can use cartridges and continue on that way. It'll look mm -hmm. fine. It won't look like crystal clean like the RGB. But like the other, yeah, yeah. But it'll look just fine. That's good. Um... And I'm getting a lot of help from the forums. Mm. So I've got a, a couple things to go on. Oh, that's good. People um, are giving you try. suggestions to try yeah. and fix it. Yeah. So it's just about time. Maybe I'll have some time this weekend. Probably not. Got a bunch of stuff to do on Saturday mm -hmm. and Sunday. Non-fun related stuff. So that's yeah, fun. Not, yeah. <laughs> yeah, non Atari related stuff. Yeah. Um, so we will see. I will keep at it as much as I can. Um, so, but we'll see what's coming up. Did it die randomly? Yeah, it just did not turn on one day. No power. Yeah. Um, you hadn't done anything to it either. It no, just, it just sat there. Yeah. A cat could have sabotaged it, of course. <laughs> you can't put it pack pix past Pixel. <laughs> yeah, the problem is it has um, low voltage. Mm. Um, it's fine when it's off, but once you engage the power switch... It drops from um, 14 volts down to two. Mm. And I supposed to think there's a grounding issue, like some wire is touching somewhere. 
Yeah, he, I was supposed to point out, Darcy was over, why didn't he help? He did actually try. You were yeah, both working yeah, on it. Yeah, we were it. working on it. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, it's it's hard. And there's limited time, and we're doing stuff when he's here, and he's doing stuff. Why didn't he help? <laughs> um, so he'll be back a, again next Friday. So maybe we'll have more time mm. next Friday again. But Friday. in the meantime, I will try and do some more stuff with it but personally i think very... you should live stream it and then have people jump in and God. give you random random suggestions yeah. no while you're boring, trying to solder 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 ever. the board and the capacitors back on <laughs> it'll be a a chat full of you're doing that wrong <laughs> and yeah they, yeah they won't be able to see it properly no uh -huh. yeah i'm sorry it's it's been such a struggle because uh it was working so well for so long year and a half yeah yep um, and I think I even suggested maybe just giving up on that one and maybe finding another one you can, yep, you can mod up. Yeah. That's an eventuality. Yeah. But that's what's going to happen. RC70 said mod. he'd watch if you were. <laughs> Got one watch. One, one, <laughs> one viewer. watcher. One viewer for the, yeah. Um, so the games we played today, uh, Missile Defender, mm -hmm. um, very fun. I liked it a lot. Good work in yeah. progress. Yeah. He's, he's uh, progressing with the game balancing. Modifications from uh, so hopefully the he, originals. This uh, stream will help him uh, be able to see actual gameplay. Mm -hmm. And all of the uh, Z1B, lots of fun. Great graphics on the mm -hmm. zombies. Mm -hmm. uh, I can't even see the music. Yeah, you've got so many on there today. Yeah. Uh, what was there? There was the racing one. That was yes. good graphics on that. I like the racing one. I love the zombies. I love the little the, the little limping zombies going across the the screen. Yeah. Those were fabulous. Z. What was it? Z B. Z one B. Z one B. Zombie. So zombie. Z one B. Yeah. Um, okay. the maze one I liked a lot. Um. Yeah, that I did was very, fun. I did very well at I it. I only re it really got one shot at that, but yeah, yeah, <laughs> it was good. What was the second game? Uh, the La Cabrita? No, no that was the, that was la the last, uh, one. last one. Um, the what was there was the maze, Cororama, uh, Z1B. There was another C. <sighs> oh, it was the flying one. Oh yes. Yep, yeah, that was very challenging. Yeah, that was good too. Um, and the La Cabrita was a fun little goat game. And oh, jumping and yeah, that was that was very <laughs> cute. Very cute. <laughs> and and kite was a lot of fun. Yes. Um, very good. That was really really good. Twenty twenty six hundred. Hope yeah. Hopefully the stream helped you. Um, thanks for trying out my game. I've already updated the power station rebuilds every season. Moon phases. Moon yeah! phase. Yes, that's awesome. <laughs> I like that. It's cute. Yeah, I like that. That's cute. The kite was fantastic. The kite was really good. I think all the games were really good, actually. Yeah. Uh, I did not have any. I have no complaints about any of them. No, really. they're all they were really, all really fun. Good um, in their own their own way in their and own all simple games. World. I like playing those simple games where it's yeah they just, all were uh, very like simple in concept. They they didn't have like levels or yeah, anything. It's single just a screen, simple single, single concept. concept games. Very fun. Yeah. yeah. Oh, glad it was very helpful. Yeah, that's good. Good. <laughs> um. So, coming up. Uh, next episode, it would be uh, on the Wednesday, 19th. We're going to play Peril. Uh, there's been a bunch of levels added to that. You mm. can watch us die in the helicopter over and over. Mm, <laughs> nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then we're going to be playing Evil Magician Returns and Evil Magician Returns 2. And that was the one we played briefly. And yes, that was cool. I really wanted to keep playing Year in review. Mm -hmm. And... Um, Erlen uh, likes adventure games, and those are kind of adventure games. I mazy games too. Those games are really fun. Yeah, so probably, I really, I would love to go back and play that game at some point. Yeah. Um, so I don't like maze yeah. games, I especially don't like mazes in the dark. And I believe both of those games have mazes yes, in the dark. Yes, they do have mazes it's in my the dark. Nightmare. Yeah. I hate it. Yeah. So I'm like, where am I? I have no <laughs> idea what's going on. Yeah. Well, and then and then you have the the evil magician come after you, and you're like, ah. Yeah, and then it's panic time. There's something about things jumping out at you. Mazes in the dark, <laughs> evil magicians, really fast zombies that just kind of make you go, bah. Yeah. So those yeah. are fun games. Anyway, and then surprise, uh, next element of surprise. Friday, we're going to be playing a game called Key Hops, Spider, and... No, we're not going to be playing Missile Defender. I guess I didn't delete it from there when I moved it to today. Mm. <laughs> and then to be, do, to be determined for the rest for of For the week. rest of the week. Yeah. So next week, Whatever the Shining the Movie. Yes, exactly. Um, <laughs> shining the Movie. Yeah. Um, Hedge mazes in the snow. Actually, it was very yeah. bright because it was snowing out there. It wasn't dark, yeah. but it was a maze. I was going to say, as I a side note, anyway. 
Um, I saw Doctor Sleep, which uh, what was oh yeah, a long time ago. It was a while ago. I saw it with Julie, oh. um, which was the the sequel. Yes, or based the on Shining. the sequel. Yep. Yeah, based on the book, um, the sequel. Which uh, I enjoyed, except for the last third. So oh, that's I think bad. you should see it actually. Oh, I will. Yeah, I will. Yeah, I yeah. love The Shining. So if it has the, the same. Very good story elements not um, really it was a good movie in its own right and then uh, uh, anyway i won't get into it that's something for me and erlin to have like a big solid discussion, discussion over yeah but um uh, yeah anyway. and when i get some time i'll have dion's uh interview eventually it's just time time more time um and uh dan kitchen has been ramping up the um, yeah i saw that some of the promotion for gold rush so yeah. i think he's getting he's getting yeah. close he put yeah. up his artwork the other day which i posted good. on zero page uh mm -hmm. facebook mm -hmm. so i think uh might be having that soon the world debut nice. exclusive premiere on here that'll be lots of very nice lots of fun yeah. uh we we'll definitely dedicate a whole show to that mm -hmm. because it looks very dynamic like there's a lot going on in it because i he did show me um previews of it mm. of like the full gameplay and all the cars that you go into and stuff cool. and uh what cool. happens in that so there's a lot going on that is very exciting yeah. i think that'll be a really cool game yeah. yeah so maybe who knows when but yeah. maybe in the next month i think he wants which makes sense to have it ready for people to almost order mm. when we show it on the show right it's like here it is now you can order it and buy it yeah Rather than show it and then there's a delay and it, why not do all the hype at once? It makes a lot uh, more sense. And uh, yeah, Gold Rush does look look really, really awesome. Mm. And I'm also looking forward to, speaking of gold, Fool's Gold, which is a load runner made by Dianoid. Oh, okay. Yeah, we did a little sneak preview at the beginning of yesterday's, or last episode. Um, it's not at full level, there's no enemies or anything, but you can move around the maze. and It's mm. really, really cool. And we also played, uh, a time, did a preview of chess made by um, Andrew Davey. I saw, yeah, I, I watched a little bit of that with Erlen, who yeah. is a massive chess fanatic. Yeah, so I'm going to schedule that. And he that. just started talking and I just went, oh chess, my chess, god. Chess, 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 yeah. chess, chess, chess. <laughs> so I'll schedule that for one of his shows. I think so. Um, because yeah. Andrew Davies, <laughs> now, now we're introducing the AI into the game now that yeah. he's got all the gameplay kind of done. Yeah. Um, and he said it's going to be quite limited AI <laughs> because the Atari has. Yeah, like, I would think no that would be challenging. Time. I mean, it's cool to even just have a two player game where you can play against each other. That's so, already done. Yeah. He's got the two player working. Yeah. But I would just get my ass handed to me. So. Well, with Erlen, yeah. yeah. We could play each other and probably just, just bumble our way through it. But yeah, and I'm I also, think Erlen would be a very, very tough t tough competitor. And what I'm going to yeah. do is set up also to have the AI of Andrew Davies chess play the AI of the Atari 2600 chess, the original Atari 2600 oh, chess. Oh, that see, is intriguing. <laughs> see how they square off. Yeah. Yeah. So they're playing the same game, but you're... Oh. Yeah, because... Are you going to have two in one screen? Like, they're playing each other? Yeah. I'm very excited about that. That's a really cool yeah, I idea. Yeah, <laughs> I could set that up. AI against AI. Oh, yep. I like that. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, and I'll do that when, it, wow. when it's done. Yeah, when what a complete, battle is right. <laughs> when, he's when he's completely done, because then he's yeah. have all the AI wow. imp implemented. Yeah. There's something very That'd exciting about that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, good stuff. Um, so thanks for hanging out. Yeah. Um, yeah, because I saw somebody pitting some uh, chess game against another chess game gotcha. on some YouTube channel. And somebody even posted it in the thread after I saw it. After, oh. After I got the idea and said, oh. oh, now it's given away. <laughs> Never, everybody will think that I got it from the person who posted it in the thread. Mm. But I got it from I got it from the same video they posted, but I just mm. saw it before that. Mm. Did you see the Amiga play this? That's the exact video is that, that it that i'm yeah. referencing yeah play the c64 yeah yeah i didn't cool. actually watch the video i just saw saw the title one yeah i'll do that yeah yeah <laughs> but it's going to be atari versus atari yeah chess. yeah <laughs> homebrew like versus original yeah. yeah i like that 
So thanks for hanging out with us on mm -hmm. this uh, Valentine's Eve. Mm -hmm. um, so let's uh, see who is still hanging around. I supposed to Emmanuel Ferreira, Cafe Mantudi, uh, Gix, 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 Gix. What about Gix. checkers? Nobody's made a homebrew checkers. No. But I'm sure he can morph it into that quite easily. It's the same board with more limited movements yeah yeah he can yeah. easily change it into that actually mm. he i should somebody should suggest that uh, i should suggest it in the thread or somebody here yeah should do that because you just change the movement patterns and you're done of course there's Depends king like. there's king yeah. and there's multiple jumps so there is quite a few rule differences yeah. but his display is the same like his mm. is uh programming for the display you're very welcome. Thank you for making all those amazing games. Uh, 2600, a Bike Me. Well, that's a new one. Mm -hmm. uh, RC70, Thunkus, Dan AVC, uh, Ezon Gliu. That's a new name. I think that's oh, a bot. Oh, that's a bot. Yeah. Oh, there was a bot last time too, and it was exactly the same. Same, same the comment? Same message. Well, you know, they're out there. <sighs> what can you do? <laughs> and, well you can ban it but well, it's already gone and, yeah. it, and it changed the name from last time yeah so you can't do anything <sighs> the only is. thing you uh oh you got an emote thanks to thunkist subscription so, thank you very much thunkist for subscribing with That's twitch awesome. prime the only thing you can do is um limit it to followers nah, yeah yeah then you then you cut people out who, who followers not subscribers all yeah. you have to do is click follow and you're yeah, fine. Yeah, but not everyone wants to follow. I mean, you're cutting out the people who just want to come in and... If it's spam, if yeah. the spam gets bad enough, I know. you do that. I know. I and know. You get big get, enough, then you do. Yeah. And then if the spam gets bad enough there, you do it to subscribers, which I don't yeah. want to do because no, no, that's no, no, a no. very limited That's sentence. very limited, yeah. Uh, Darkwing602. Yep. Thank you. That's a new name. I love seeing new names. That's awesome. I've seen that one before. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Retro, Retro Gamer, Gamer 1970. Yes. Uh, Ricardo, Ricardo Pym. Yeah, that's a new one. No, I've seen that one. Oh, have you? Yeah. Okay. Jerry Gar Gray West. You're only if you here haven't. for a quarter of the shows. That's very true. <laughs> you're here every every show. Every show, very, yeah. Very true. But sometimes you remember ones that there's yeah. also follow for X minutes option. Oh, Ooh. smart. That's very smart because they yeah. can just go follow, spam, unfollow, and unfollow. Yeah. Thank you very much, Thunkist. So, but that we've only smart. had two spams, but they've been two shows in a row. So, well, you're getting popular, so people are, you know, you're, you're the, the bots are starting to leech on. <laughs> that's right. Ooh, that's, that's what happens. <laughs> There's X people in this chat, it's what worth spamming them. Yeah, okay. um, so we'll be back on Wednesday, yes, with Erilyn. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much for hanging out mm -hmm. with us on this Friday night. Mm -hmm. And we will see you next time. Yeah, and I wish everyone a happy Valentine's Day. Yes. Whether you're just playing your video cat. games, hanging out with your loved ones. Or cat. You know, hanging out with your cat. Yeah. It's all about love. Mm -hmm. Thank you for sharing your love with us and watching our Hug show. Hug your Atari. Whether it's Hug a... your Atari, whether it's a physical console. Or a, or a fluffy gray cat. Yeah. So, it both yeah. works. Wishing you a very, very nice Friday night. And uh, have, have a, a good time. And have a good weekend. Yeah. Okay, bye-bye. Bye, guys. Oh, lots of boxes of chocolates, Ooh, hearts. Very nice. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. <laughs> bye.